time to kick off three hours of fair and honest discussions that go beyond the headlines of today's sports news. And for the Tennessee touchdown. From the Budweiser Studios of 99.1, the sports animal. Here are a couple of guys with over 30 years of combined knowledge of Tennessee sports. Here's Josh and Swain. Good Friday afternoon. Welcome into Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us today. We are very excited to be with you for the next three hours. It is Friday. We are heading into a big sports weekend. Everything's up for Tennessee. We will have a lot to cover between now and 3 o'clock. You can join us at 865-656-9900. Swain, you ready for this weekend? I'm ready to see you with dogs. Do the cats. I'm ready to see it. You know what dogs do the cats, right? Careful now. They run them up the tree. Okay. They run them up the tree. That's what I'm looking forward to tomorrow. So John Calipari is going to be hanging on to a limb. Is that what you're saying? Hey, man. He He's a cat, right? That's what I'm expecting tomorrow. And if that doesn't happen... Guess what? Tennessee, still SEC regular season champs. Still will be in a great spot to go to the Final Four and win national championship. So, it's a win-win, baby. Kind of. A little bit. Need to win tomorrow. Yeah, got to win tomorrow, my man. Kentucky, your home crowd, place is going to be packed. Senior day. It's Kentucky, I'll repeat. There's also the one-seed conversation. Now, Tennessee could lose tomorrow and still be a one-seed. But win tomorrow, and that shuts it down. For a lot of people, will. We'll see. Arizona won easily last night. It looks like a Tennessee-Arizona battle for the fourth number one seed in the NCAA tournament to go along with the three teams we continue to repeat, Purdue, UConn, and Houston. But Tennessee right now is a one-seed. It appears, based on the bracketologist's projections. But Tennessee has one game remaining. Now it's a tougher game than Arizona will have played in a while because of the way their Pac-12 schedule has laid out. Tennessee's close has been much tougher than Arizona's, as tough as anybody's in the country with Alabama, Auburn, South Carolina, Kentucky. At the beginning of the season, it looked like, oh, well, Tennessee will get a break in there because they're going to play the worst team in the SEC, and then it turned out South Carolina was going to play for the SEC title in the final week. But that benefits Tennessee, playing that game, winning that game on the road ahead of tournament seeding. I, I've seen, I still see different ideas. I see different opinions about how much the SEC tournament will matter. Some people have the opinion it doesn't matter. Others have said, well, you know, it'd be nice if you go win the SEC tournament as well. Obviously, if Tennessee wins out, Tomorrow and next week, why they're going to be a one seed. Why are you being passive aggressive? Huh? Why, why are you being passive aggressive, Josh? I said that the SEC tournament don't matter. No, no, huh? you. And, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> some people, huh? Some, some people. You, you talking to me? You talking to me, Josh? Huh? I said it. Just say I said it. I said. Is that your? Is that your De Niro? You talking to me? <laughs> You talking to me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it. It don't matter. I don't think it matters either. So that's uh, that's the the Josh and Wayne, uh, Josh and Whoa. Swain, Josh and Wayne, Josh Whoa. and Swain stamp. <laughs> but I, I saw a different person who's honest, honest the name I can't recall. But he was like, you know, if they could go win yeah. the SEC tournament, I was like, I don't, I don't know that that matters. Yeah. I think tomorrow is a big deal. I think if they win tomorrow, and then lock it down. Yeah, you know, maybe the Friday game. You want to avoid a loss in your first SEC tournament game, yeah, but win I don't one. even know if that matters. Tennessee could win tomorrow, and that to the committee might say, okay, we've seen enough. Yeah, I'm on board with Tom Hart, man. Win one, and then, eh, you know, mm-hmm. if you come up a little bit short tournament, that's okay. Go go home, rest, recharge, rejuvenate, get ready for 
the real tournament. We shared the Justin Ganey conversation yesterday on our YouTube channel. Recommend you go back and check it out or where you get your podcasts. Great um, comment on there. One comment was, don't care about Kentucky. Can you go win something in the NCAA tournament? The thing is, at this point, it's March 8th. I think the team, I think the coaching staff, I think everybody in the program is fully aware of the importance of finding success in the NCAA tournament. Multiple times during the conversation that the commenter was commenting on, Justin Ganey unprompted mentioned wanting to win the national championship. So I'm pretty sure Dalton and Josiah and Santi and Zakai and their teammates, they all have their eye on the NCAA tournament. Arizona last night, by the way, shame on them. They were celebrating clinching the Pac-12 championship. How dare they? I thought they would have bigger goals. Do they, do, do they not understand that there's bigger goals out in front of them? <laughs> How dare a team celebrate winning a conference championship? We live in an age of participation trophies. My gosh, that's just terrible. <laughs> that is so terrible. <laughs> Because Ganey and crew had no idea of what the goal was until <laughs> uh, until that comment. Yeah, that, I, I'll, I don't think I'll ever stop being entertained by that. T- telling the competitors what they should and should not care about and yeah. what their goals should be. Yeah, the, the, the group of individuals that every single day, from the moment they wake up until the moment they go to sleep, it's every action is towards winning a championship. Yeah, Rick Barnes has been in college hoops for half a century. I think he's aware of <laughs> what you're trying to do once you get to March. Oh, man. <laughs> he's lost, but now he's found. Once you do something. I love it, though. I love it, <laughs> I man. I do, too. I do, too. I uh, love it. That's, that's part of the passion. Tomorrow's going to be a big day with Kentucky. The Lady Vols won yesterday against Kentucky. On fire. We'll try to advance again in the SEC tournament. Baseball and softball continue their runs. So here we yeah, are playing against the uh, the Gumps. Lady Vols. The Lady Vols are playing against the uh, Gumps or Gumpettes. Gumps, Gumpettes. It's International Women's Day. I know, I know. So. I'm sorry, but it's Alabama. I see International Women's Day, <laughs> and I see Alabama. I'm sorry, Josh. Okay, it's Alabama. <laughs> Uh, is that equal opportunity <laughs> hatred when it comes to the sports world? I like you, that. You nailed it. Yep. It's it's Alabama, man. Alabama softball. I don't like none of it. But, hey, man, the the tournament, the women's tournament started off um, with some fireworks. Um, I got a chance to watch a little bit of the Auburn-Arkansas game. Whew. Um, Arkansas just totally – Shorthanded, um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one, man. Auburn's gonna face LSU. They beat LSU already once. Uh, Tennessee came close to LSU. Tennessee came close to South Carolina. Tennessee last year was able to play in that Sunday game. Can they do it again this year? Can they make a run in the postseason like they did last year, where the regular season, eh, not the best, but the postseason we saw glimpses of what the Lady Vol basketball program can be, and there was a lot of expectations going into this season. I don't think this team reached those, but here we are again in the postseason with a chance to uh, to make a run. Tennessee softball will host the Tennessee Invitational this weekend. Tennessee baseball will play Illinois before SEC play begins next week. Opening series for the baseball conference schedule will be down in Tuscaloosa against Alabama. Okay, stop bringing up Alabama. You start bringing up Alabama, I won't say Gumpets again. Deal? Sam in Anderson County, the I don't am I gonna get in trouble? The Alabama Genes. <laughs> hey, I tell you, man, Forrest Gump was one of my favorite movies ever though. Great movie. Man, one of my favorite movies. If I could change one thing about it, I would change the school. That's the only thing. But the movie was it was fantastic. Loved yep. it. What's the opinion? Who are they playing when he takes a? It wasn't Tennessee. Okay. It wasn't Tennessee. Okay. That's all that matters. Georgia Tech. I don't know. It wasn't Tennessee. 
All right, so we're off and running today. Tennessee, if that, Kentucky, if that was Al- a, Alabama hatred in the first segment. If that was the case, then it would be a light-skinned brother wide receiver catching five touchdowns in the movie. <laughs> By the name of Jalen Hyatt. You ready to do a remake? <laughs> yeah, I'm, re- I'm ready. I'm ready to do a remake. Let's okay. do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. It's Friday. It is Friday. Yep. It's Friday. Keeping things loose on a, a Friday in March with everything that's happening in the sports and world. You, and you winning. Yep. You're winning. Like, imagine how nervous Kentucky is right now. Like, you were the standard of college basketball. You have all the history. You have all the championships. It's your only go-to when Tennessee fans are bragging about how they're better than you in basketball and football. It's your only go-to. How well, I many Final Fours you went to? How many championships you got? It's your only play. It's your only thing you can say. Because little old school down south, I-75, they're better than you in basketball. Not just one year, multiple years. They're going into the tournament with a chance to win a championship. Better chance than you. They already beat you once. They've already clinched the conference title. you got to beat Tennessee if you're Kentucky. Like, you got fans posting videos about how they're just tired of losing to Tennessee. They're just tired. They didn't, they didn't even mad anymore. They're just tired. They're apathetic. They just want to beat Tennessee once. <laughs> once. So, a lot of pressure on Kentucky, man. A lot of pressure. But on Tennessee? There's pressure on Tennessee, but more pressure on Kentucky. We invite you to join us this afternoon. You can call or text in ahead of the weekend at 865-656-9900. We'll be with you until 3 o'clock. We'll get you ready for Tennessee, Kentucky, and basketball, NCAA Tournament Impact, Senior Day for Tennessee. We'll cover all of that. Plenty of football talk this afternoon, too. Next to some person, Jason Swain, VFL, former Tennessee wide receiver. I'm Josh Ward right here on both 99.1 The Sports Animal and AM640 The Sports Monster. Caller 5 right now to 656 wins qualifies in the Chill It and Grill It contest. You could win an awesome outdoor grill, a Yeti cooler, and a $100 gift card from Coors Light and 99.1 The Sports Animal. Caller 5 right now. Hey, it's Josh. I want to tell you about Wilson Brothers Plumbing. Go search their name on Google. Hit the review button when that pops up, and you will see five star reviews across the board for Wilson Brothers Plumbing. People right here in East Tennessee talking about the great work that Wilson Brothers Plumbing did with them, different jobs, different problems that people ran into. They'll describe them, how Wilson Brothers Plumbing was able to come out and help and get the job done. They did that for me at my home. They've helped us multiple times. I know that if we run into a plumbing issue where I need some help, I can call Wilson Brothers Plumbing. If you need help at your home, if you need help at your business, if you are worried about a potential problem and you need somebody to check it out, see if you're clear, see if there could be a potential issue in the future, call Wilson Brothers Plumbing. 865-415-1537. Again, 865-415-1537. You can go online to wilsonbrothersplumbing.com. Wilson Brothers, the proof is in the plumbing. This has been a big announcement. Since 1956, Standard Kitchen and Bath has been serving the East Tennessee area with professional kitchen and bath sales and design. Family owned and operated, Larry Finley and his son Scott offer custom and affordable cabinetry lines from quality brands like Soul Design Cabinetry. From remodeling to new construction, the professionals at Standard Kitchen and Bath can help you design any space. Call 694-0068-standardkitchen.com or stop by the showroom, Kingston Pike, next to Grayson Hyundai. They're not just selling cabinets, but designs and ideas that will transform your kitchen or bath into something you'll love. Hello, friends. This is Kevin Frazier with Frazier's Carpet One, and we're having a gargantuan grand reopening sale. Carol and I are excited to announce our grand reopening. Frazier's has just renovated our entire flooring showroom and is celebrating with gargantuan savings. Come see Frazier's fabulous new showroom, introducing an entirely new way to buy flooring with cloud-based room visualizers and in-store video imaging. Not to mention gorgeous new displays of carpet, hardwood, luxury vinyl, high-density laminate, and more. 
Plus, no money down and free financing for 18 months. If you're even thinking about new flooring, now is the time to call Frazier's at 546-4850. And we'll come to you with free in-home estimates, free in-home shopping, and free in-home design consultation. Frazier's, Frazier's, Frazier's. I like your style. Hey, East Tennessee, this is Nick Whitehead with Whitehead Auto Sales in Alcoa. You have a car buying need. Our family of experts has a solution. Our expertise is not just buying the best pre-owned vehicles, but the financing is where we separate ourselves from the competition. Here at Whitehead Auto Sales, we are a preferred dealer for some of the top credit unions and banks in the region. We have one of the best finance programs in the country. Bad credit, previous bankruptcies, collections, repos, and yet we are still able to get people approved. Visit us on Facebook, Instagram, or at whiteheadautosales.com and read the reviews for yourself. It's really a no-brainer. Call us today, 233-5335. It's the biggest sale in our 160-year history. Hi, I'm Danny Overby with Kimball's Jewelers, and I want to invite you to our anniversary sale February 29th until March 9th. While a few exclusions apply, most of our iconic brands will be on sale. This is the perfect time to buy those birthday, anniversary, and Mother's Day gifts. Join us February 29th through March 9th as we say thank you for supporting us for 160 years and counting. Kimball's Jewelers, on top of Bearden Hill and online at Kimball'sJewelers.com. Join the fun at the Knoxville Men's Show this weekend at Hill Howie Park. The ultimate expo for men. Axe throwing, a shooting range simulator, cool cars, contests, plus a meet and greet with NBA legend John Conkett. Enjoy live musical performances from Aaron Carter, plus an inflatable racetrack for the kids and other fun stuff too. And don't miss out on the job fair during the show. The free Knoxville Men's Show at Hill Howie Park. Get all the details now at KnoxvilleMen'sShow.com. Josh and Swain on 99.1 B Sports Animal. Once again, voted one of the top 25 sports midday shows in America by Barrett Sports Media. Thanks for being with us on Josh and Swain this afternoon. Josh and Wayne. Next to Jason Wayne, former Tennessee wide receiver. That would have been your NCAA football name 20 years ago, back before name image likeness was allowed. J-A-S-O-N. Oh, man. W-A-Y-N-E. Jason Wayne. That's right. Well, hey, when I get the game, I play with Texas. It'd be... Uh... Harch Fanning, <laughs> the quarterback. Have there been any other non-opt-ins besides Not, Arch reported on? Well, the reason why it seems like Arch is the only one because no one cares about anybody else who's not a big name. So, like, the other second or third string player at their position decide not to be in it, no one cares. But the fact that it's Arch Manning, who is second string quarterback, is public. If I'm Archer, I'm like, come on, man, that ain't fair. You're going to put me out there, but I'm sure there's somebody else that decided to opt out too. Yeah, the, the funny thing is perhaps he's not opting in. At least part of the reporting that I've seen is that, well, he, he's a backup. He's not playing. He He's just not doing anything NIL-related, really. He did the Panini thing where he donated the money. Yeah. But then not opting in is what gets him criticism and talked about so avoiding name image likeness involvement now the 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 part i think that has gotten so much attention is the anwar richardson tweet that yeah, put for, this out there for sure said that well arch just wants to focus on football which led to of course well how does opting in taking a check and receiving a free copy of the game keep you from yeah, it's focusing like, on football because <laughs> the, the obvious joke was he knows that he doesn't actually have to play in the game right they just put his name into it yeah it was, it was it was a good little good cop out there but yeah hey it's his world he can do what he wants to do and i applaud him for i think handling having the last name the right way i think he's done a really good job i think his family's done a really good job his dad's done a really good job of managing him and not letting uh the, the hype turn him into 
um, a character rather than just a football player. He just wants to play ball, and I appreciate that. Yeah, I do too. Uh, there has been speculation since Quinn Ewers announced he was coming back for another year that Arch would hop in the transfer portal because he'd want to play right away. And he he hasn't spoken much publicly, but he has made some comments and his family has spoken because they're public figures and get interviewed all the time. And the response was, no, he's very happy at Texas. He wants to continue working, kind of like Eli. Eli waited his turn when he was ready to go, uh, took off at Ole Miss. Peyton would have waited longer than he had to. He just he was kind of forced into duty as a freshman because of injury. So uh it he has the name so when his name is attached to that kind of story the story will blow up um in the text box from madisonville jason without a y texted in 865-656-9900 i've never heard why is swain so salty towards alabama when he's from alabama gbo I don't need to explain that, do I? That's literally the reason. <laughs> like, I'm from Alabama, and I, I, met, I went to Tennessee. That's that's the short version. Yeah, the, the long story short would be, and you can add to this whatever is necessary. You've talked about this, I know, in your own show, on this show, probably plenty of times at this point. But you're from Alabama. You were a highly touted recruit. You come to Tennessee. I don't think that set well with some Alabama fans in your home state where you were coming out of at Grissom High School in Huntsville. Uh, some fans that <laughs> that were included would be the guidance counselor at your school who called Paul Feinbaum's show, which at the time was in Birmingham, and accu- accused you of having somebody take your ACT for you, alleging that you should not be eligible at Tennessee. Is that that's part also of part yeah, of it? That's part of it. Okay. Yeah. That's part of it. That's a good job, man. You got good good memory. Yeah, that's part of it. That's some of it. And it was crazy. I got really good friends who are Alabama fans, but just that part makes me feel that way every time I see the and, logo. And you received hate mail, death threats, stuff like that? Correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's the, that's the – I mean, you did say no to Alabama. I mean, a lot of people did. Marcus Russell did. Aaron Sears did. Jason Allen did. Uh, Chad Jackson did. All the top recruits from that two to three year stretch before yeah. uh, me and including my class said no to Alabama. So, now a lot of people said Alabama, said no to Alabama after that, but. We get some more no's. Actually, I think my favorite story that you've shared from your recruiting experience being an in-state prospect in Alabama recruited by the Crimson Tide, and I always have to um, make sure I have the coach correct, but Dennis Francione asking, don't you think you should stay in-state and come play for the Crimson Tide? And your response was? No. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was my response. <laughs> Just that was it. And my high school coach looked at me and was like, did you just say that? I didn't think it was a big deal. On the way back home, the drive from Tuscaloosa to Huntsville, because I rode back with him, he's like, I can't believe you did that. I was like, what? It's like, usually, and you have, you have to understand something. I think I was like 15, 16 years old. Mm-hmm. And, and he's like, usually you get intimidated by – talking to the head coach at a university when they ask you a question like that. And I was like, well, I think it was a big deal. <laughs> and he coached uh, – he had a quarterback that went to Southern Miss and um, went on to play the NFL. That same coach is the head coach of a school where the number one player, Ryan Williams, that receiver, came from and went to Alabama, reclassified. So, small world. Hmm. Jeff Kelly is his name. So me and Jeff are like, we're real cool because we both yeah. play for our high school coach who, who's no longer with us uh, because of bone cancer. But, yeah, like, it's a small world, man, very small world. But, yeah, Dennis French on was like, you know, he had a little nasally voice. And he was like, Jason, you think, um, you know, being from Alabama, you can stay home play for your state team? And I was like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't feel that way. And he's from Texas. And he was also out the door pretty soon. Real soon. 
It's like, I'm about to sign this extension, so I'll be here a long time. And I didn't, I didn't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing because I didn't like the offense. <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, I was not a fan of the offense at all. But, yeah, that's my feeling on on Alabama. And, I'm try, like, I'm trying to get better. Like, I'm trying to evolve and grow and not, and not be that way towards Alabama. But I can't help it. We should go through like a, uh, I don't know what it'd be called, but some kind of like intervention. No, I was thinking like some kind of SEC recruiting fandom former player rehabilitation, where you 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 make good, and then by the end, I would just expect that you go through all of it and say no, no, <laughs> I'm can't not, do it. I'm taking this hate to the grave, baby. <laughs> uh, J- Jason followed up, which we appreciate, and said, "Praise God, Swain came to Tennessee." <laughs> Yeah, He's home. That's 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 the that's the story. The it's short, good to have you here. Convince, you. Uh, condense radio version <laughs> of the story. Yep, hundred percent, man. <laughs> so I understand it is International Women's Day, but Tennessee Lady Vols playing against Alabama. I my hate for Alabama trumps International Women's Day. I'm sorry. Do you want the Lady Vols to run them out of the gym? Run them out of there. Same to Kentucky tomorrow in basketball. Get them out of there. Get them out of there. I'll take a one-point win versus Kentucky. Run run the Lady Tide out of there. Get them out of there. Uh, back to the men's basketball game tomorrow and the weekend coming up. Noah texting and asking, do we know anything about the recruits coming in for basketball uh, or is it more about the portal? Portal will definitely be – part of the conversation and trying to replace some of the guys leaving. Uh, there is a 2026 player from. He from, uh, he from Buckhorn high school, Huntsville, Alabama. I believe the location, uh, new market, Alabama. Okay. Huntsville, Alabama, right there, uh, on the outskirts of Huntsville, actually where go Vols 247 Ben McKee went to high school. But man, this kid is the number one player in the state. Number one, a uh, small forward in the country. I think he's the third rated overall player in the country too. He's a consensus top five. Yeah, he he he's a baller. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a baller. So yeah, Tennessee will but be. He's a t- to be clear, twenty twenty six guy, so still yeah. a couple years away. But a yeah, big he'll be time a junior player coming up. In. Yeah, he just completed his uh, sophomore year. He'll be a junior coming up, and um, maybe he's the next dog connect that we can get for a year or two. Just starting that clock a little earlier. Uh, there's a 2025 point guard, Chance Mallory, who I think is scheduled to come in on an unofficial. And, um, yeah, the transfer portal will be a big part of what they do. You, you, we also we don't even know who's coming back for sure because there is the transfer portal that players could enter and leave. But we know that Tennessee will have to replace Dalton Connect, Josiah Jordan-James, and Santiago Vescovi. And that is a lot of experience to have to replace. Caleb Hope, Holt is his name. Um, oh, I'm sorry if I didn't say his name. Yeah, Caleb, yeah, Caleb Holt. Holt. Uh, Rick Barnes will determine who comes back. That's, that's part of it. That's the answer, Josh. Whoever's coming back are the people that Rick Barnes wants to come back. We, <laughs> we've been on the team from last year. Simple as that. Uh, yeah, I think I think I think it's close to that. Okay, Josh. Like we we saw this team last year and. Who probably need to be replaced, and you got to have that conversation with them. Like, hey, man, like, <laughs> you, you probably, if you want to play, you probably don't need to go somewhere else. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving me the it's not you, it's me routine? It's, it's me. I'm just not ready for commitment right now. <laughs> I need some space. I need some time. I need some time to work on me, Okay. Uh, speaking of, uh, Margo in the text box says, never change, Swain. But Steven suggests perhaps a darkness retweet. Uh, <laughs> retweet. I got to get off social media, and I got to learn to talk today. Uh, maybe a darkness retreat, just like I believe Aaron Rodgers goes on during the off season. Hell no, man. I need my flashlight. <laughs> talking about you walking around in the dark. You'll stick with Margo's plan. <laughs> no change from Jason Swain. Oh, uh, man. I can't walk around my house without stepping on toys. I, I Tell me about it. Walk, walk <laughs> around in the dark outside my house. You never know what you're going to step on. We'll continue the conversation 
865-656-9900 if you would like to join us. I'm going to take a few minutes, see if I can talk better the rest of the way, and we'll get right back to it here on Josh and Swain. This weekend is when the time springs forward. Sunday excuses, check. 99.1, the sports animal. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the sports animal. The Lady Vols defeated Kentucky in the SEC tournament yesterday thanks to Sarah Puckett's career-high 22 points to help the Lady Vols defeat the Wildcats 76-62. to Tennessee faces the number four seed Alabama in the SEC tournament quarterfinals today. Tip-off is set for 2.30. Catch the game right here on the Sports Animal. Tennessee softball has won six in a row. The Lady Vols take on Missouri State this afternoon at Sherry Parker Lee Stadium. First pitch is set for 3 o'clock. Tennessee baseball puts its 12-game win streak up against Illinois tonight at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. First pitch is at 6 o'clock. The Knoxville Ice Bears are back in action at home this weekend with games on Friday and Saturday against the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs. Tonight's game at the Civic Coliseum is set for 735. And fourth-ranked Tennessee Hoops goes up against 15th-ranked Kentucky at Food City Center at Thompson Bowling Arena to close out the regular season. The Vols have already clinched the outright regular season title in the SEC. Tip-off tomorrow is at 4 o'clock. Catch the game right here on The Sports Animal. I'm Joel Silverberg. When it's that time for you to look for a vehicle for you or, or your business, Freedom Motors is the place that I advise you to go. They want the opportunity to earn your business. It doesn't matter if it's your first time there on the lot or if it's your 10th time there on the lot. They'll make sure to work with you to find that right vehicle at the right price and the right financing. Freedom Motors uses their power with local credit unions to make sure that you get the best deal possible on your next ride. They're located on Manningville Pike and Halls, and they have a full selection of cars and trucks, vans, campers, RVs, uh, power sports vehicles. Whatever you need, they have you covered. Every vehicle comes with a 90-day warranty, and your financing is guaranteed. Freedom Motors can bring the vehicle right to your door. Check out the selection at Freedom Motors on Manningville Pike or online at freedommotorstn.com. This has been a big announcement. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-8695. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-575-8695. That's 800-575-8695. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. Warmer weather is right around the corner, and Dick and Sturfin Landscape Supply is your go-to for great lawns this year. They have the best fertilizers available and carry top equipment brands like Toro, Ferris, Wright, and Hustler Mowers, as well as Echo and Red Max products. Dickens is running their winter service special through March, and that includes free pickup and delivery on zero-turn mowers. In the market for a new zero-turn this year, Dickens has the best selection in East Tennessee, with financing and free delivery when you buy a new mower. Come see Dickens in Knoxville or Miraville or online at DickensSupply.com. Get a head start. Get ahead of everything with spring cleaning. And I got a life hack for you. You ready? Schedule your appointment of getting your carpets cleaned with Zero Res Carpet and Air Duct Cleaning. Plus, you can use my name, Tyler Ivins from the Sports Animal, and get three rooms of carpet clean for just $119. And the best part, they're going to throw in a free hallway absolutely free. Book online now. Schedule that appointment at ZeroResKnoxville.com. This is the time of year to enjoy life. Stop letting that pain in your joints keep you from doing what you want this spring. This is Ainge telling you to call QC Kinetics now. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative medicine, lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. It's a fact. QC Kinetics is literally transforming lives. Their advanced treatments harness your body's ability to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades, and now this life-changing treatment is available for you. You can walk. 
walk, run, climb stairs, play golf, and move again pain-free with no pain pills, no risk of surgery. It's an all-natural solution, and QC Kinetics has tens of thousands of satisfied patients, I'm one of them, who have reclaimed their mobility. Take action now and live your best life this spring and summer. It's a great use of that tax refund as well. Call QC Kinetics for a free consultation, 865-238-4799. That's 865-238-4799. QC Kinetics, 865-238-4799. This report is sponsored by Rhino Shield. Don't pay, don't find out, go Rhino Shield. How would you like to end the endless cycle of painting your house? You can with Rhino Shield ceramic coating, guaranteed for 25 years. Go to rhinoshieldtn.com. You paint a house, but you Rhino Shield your home. In the mid-60s this afternoon with more clouds and showers. Showers are really on and off throughout the day. More moves in overnight. Some rumbles of thunder as a line of rain and a few storms push in with that cold front on Saturday. Highs in the mid-60s but dropping throughout the afternoon to evening hours. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Paige Noel. Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. Recovering millions at damages for personal injury clients throughout East Tennessee. Call Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group so they can help you get the help you need. 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. All facts, no fluff. Honest, credible sports information from two guys that know the facts. Here's Josh and Swain on The Sports Animal. This is Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us. We're on YouTube today. You can stop by the Sports Animal YouTube channel anytime to keep up with what we have there, including watching live today with you until 3 o'clock, with you on your radio dial, anywhere you stream audio, and again on YouTube. And in the chat, uh, one of our posts says, I'd rather have the Vols first ever number one seed than any number two seed anywhere. Tennessee has a very good chance at the number one seed a number one seed, and it would likely send the Vols out west. But that is one of the items on the table for what Tennessee could accomplish, the first ever number one seed in program history in the NCAA tournament. We'll find out a week from Sunday on Selection Sunday. Yeah, that's, 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 that's hard for me to uh, understand. Because... What if it lines up better for you to make a deeper run somewhere else? I just think, and don't get me wrong, like if you're if you are playing the best basketball and like you're playing better than everybody else, and you execute, then it doesn't really matter where you play and who you play. Like you, you, right. you should win, right? Right. But we understand that luck and the draw does come into play when it comes to going as far as you can in the NCAA tournament. And so, yeah, like, if I'm looking at the pitcher and I'm really close to the pitcher, I will say, yeah, I just want the number one seat. But if I take 10 steps back and I see the entire pitcher, I'll I'll take a two if that means that it helps Tennessee's chances to go to go farther. Like, you don't have to be a number one seat to win a national championship. It just helps you get a good draw if – the selection does it fairly or they do it the, the right way. We have seen many times where a number two seed has had a better path to the final four than a number one seed because of where they were placed. If they get it right, if they reward Tennessee for the strength of schedule, they reward Tennessee for the three back-to-back-to-back to back to back wins, two in a row, one at home versus ranked opponent, and – could add a fourth tomorrow versus a ranked opponent, then like Tennessee should be blessed with a favorable spot, honestly. Because hey, we we schedule tough games. Like we should be rewarded for that. Um for me it's it's all about the best path. That's 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 all I care about. Because if Tennessee goes to the final four, we we're not going to know anything about or care what seed they were when they got to the Final Four. 
Who cares? Maybe that this team becomes the West Coast Vols. Number one seed, go out to L.A. That's where the regional would take place. So in the Sweet 16 and Elite Eight rounds, you went out in Los Angeles. They're, they'll play that at Crypto Arena Ooh. where the Lakers and the Clippers play. And then the Final Four is in Phoenix. So the West Coast Vols. What do you think? It might as well be. I mean, we, I remember we had a team full of international players. Mm-hmm. A couple, you know, a couple of years ago, like a bunch of them. Um, so, hey, man, we, we international. Speaking of, I don't think we mentioned it on the air yesterday, but love seeing Santi had so many family members yeah. at the game on Wednesday. Yep, and he's getting ready for Senior Day this weekend. So, love to see that uh, his, his family um, had a loss at the start of the college basketball season. He was away for a little bit of time. He had lost his grandmother. So, love seeing that his family was able to come travel and be with him to celebrate a championship. That's cool. I, I love whenever they come to the States and Tennessee is able to capture the moment. They, mm-hmm. They've done it before uh, in video form. And, um, man, it warms your heart. It really does. And then to see you know, some of the photos out there, just you can understand why Santi plays the way he plays, man. He plays with a purpose. Yeah, he plays with a purpose, yep. man. He really does. So, uh, you know, you never question – his intensity level, his effort level, his focus, man, he plays with a purpose because, you know, he understands there's been so many sacrifices for him to be able to play this game. Um, he's had to play it away from his family where you have other players that play college basketball, play college football or whatever, that their mom and dad gets to come to every single game. And um, I, I hope not only players on our team but players – around the country, athletes around the country playing different sports understand, like, man, you you here for a reason. Like, you're here for a purpose. Um, don't take for granted any day because it is a privilege to play college athletics at this, at this level and do it for the name on the back. Do it for the name on the back and the logo on the front. Uh, that last name is something that you that uh, you always have for the rest of your life. Yep. Totally agree. Uh, in the text box, as long as we get to the final eight with a chance to get to the final four, I don't care if they seat us at the kids' Christmas table. Me either. <laughs> Me either. But if I was on this team, I would want the one seed, and I would want to play whenever, yes, wherever, against whoever. That would be my mentality. Yeah, that doesn't mean they're dwelling on it and that they'll hang their heads if they're a two. But if I'm a player, if I'm on the staff, I want a one seat. I want I want validation of what we've done. I would add that to the list of things we've accomplished, and then I would want to go represent our school as a one seed in the final four. You got to think about this too. Like Tennessee has played against North Carolina, they have played against Purdue, they have played against Kansas, and North Carolina. Dalton Connect gets hurt. Against Purdue, we played absolutely terrible, and we are so much better now. North Carolina, uh, still a good team, but I think right now we are a better team than North Carolina. Um, we're better than Kansas. And Purdue, like, hey, it, it can be a toss-up for some people. Some people think that Tennessee's better right now. Some people may think Purdue's better. That's cool, but I'll, I know one thing. We barely lost to them, and we were terrible. 60% from the free throw line. Um, and less than 30% from three. And Zakat Ziegler was just kind of coming off that that, that ACL injury uh, at the beginning of the season. So he wasn't really 100% mentally, probably physically, but just he wasn't the same Zakat Ziegler that we see right now. So these guys shouldn't be intimidated by anybody because they already played them when they wasn't as good as they are right now. Yeah, if you look at... Ken Palm's rankings, so Tennessee is number five. The Vols have played four of the top seven, removing Tennessee. So four of the top eight, Tennessee being one of them. They've played Purdue, Auburn, North Carolina, Alabama. So four, four, of, the top eight, uh, four of the top eight besides Tennessee. Tennessee's played half of them. Yeah, let's, let's and go. And went, went uh, three and two, is my math correct there? Because they swept Alabama. Three and two against those four teams. That's pretty good. Yeah, that is. So, like, I I don't want to just scoff at anyone saying, oh, I, I want the one seed. Yeah, I, I understand. I, I understand always wanting to be number one. 
Ain't nothing wrong with that. And our players, I'm sure, want to be number one too. But I don't really care. Just give us the best path to go win it. Nathan in Mooresville, North Carolina. Where did Tennessee win the football national championship in 98? Where's the final four going to be played this year? Same state each time. Hello, Arizona. Does it feel like Friday? <laughs> I feel like Friday, March 8th? It does, Josh. Yeah, some of these shenanigans are Friday-like, and we'll keep them going. 865-656-9900 for you to join us getting ready for a big sports weekend right here on Josh and Swain. The Sports Animal Stream now has streaming-only giveaways. Listen daily to The Sports Animal Stream for keywords to text in for a chance to win. All right, fellas. If you've been feeling tired, grumpy, you've noticed a difference with how you feel. Lack of motivation and drive. You have some weight gain, loss of muscle mass. These are signs that you need to pay attention to. These could be low testosterone levels. It's time to get those levels checked. You could do that at Low T Center. It's a simple blood test because of their on site lab. And you'll get your results back in about 25 minutes. Low T Center is country ears medicine for men. Their physicians specialize in treating low testosterone and have been exclusively treating men for years with most health insurance accepted. They have affordable and convenient treatment options, including physician monitor, self-inject treatments that ship directly to your home each month, saving you a trip to the, to the center for those weekly visits. Right now, at Low T Center, just $25 to get your T-level tested. Make your health and quality of life priority. Go to the website, lowtcenter.com, to book your appointment online today. That's lowtcenter.com. This has been a paid announcement. Leonard Skinner. ZZ Top. Two American institutions unite. The Sharp Dressed Simple Man Tour. Friday, March 15th. Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center. With Blackstone Cherry. On sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Skinner and ZZ Top Live. This is Eric Gange from my HVAC company of choice, Chafee Air and Plumbing, a local veteran-owned business and the owner, a UT grad, actually went to school with me on the hill. The Chafee Air and Plumbing team are the ones keeping you warm and dry, fixing busted water lines, furnaces, and heat pumps during the cold weather season while other companies are closed. Chafee Air and Plumbing is an independent, American standard heating and air conditioning customer care dealer, and they're ready to assist you. Find out more and how to become a VIP member and their comfort guarantee on the website, coolingheatingplumbing.com. Been a paid advertisement. Hey folks, Gerald Anderson with Ted Russell Nissan. Is your old car bent, broke, scratched, dented, peeling, squealing, smoking, stinking, shaking, pinging, poking, walking, knocking, rattling, slipping, dripping, sagging, dragging, or wobbling? Well, it don't matter. The Ted Russell Nissan, if it'll drive, it's worth fifty five hundred dollars for the purchase of any new in stock Nissan road for the entire month of March. So you mean to tell me if my car is scratched, peeling, squealing, shaking, pinging, slopping, whatever you just said, it's worth eighty five hundred dollars? Don't you mean fifty five hundred? Nope. This time it's worth eighty five hundred dollars. Only at Ted Russell Nissan on key. Kingston Pike. It's the biggest sale in our 160-year history. Hi, I'm Danny Overby with Kimball's Jewelers, and I want to invite you to our anniversary sale February 29th until March 9th. While a few exclusions apply, most of our iconic brands will be on sale. This is the perfect time to buy those birthday, anniversary, and Mother's Day gifts. Join us February 29th through March 9th as we say thank you for supporting us for 160 years and counting. Kimball's Jewelers, on top of Bearden Hill and online at Kimball'sJewelers.com. Spring is just around the corner, and Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center has the key for you to be happy, healthy, strong, and more in 2024. The outdoor pool will open in April. In the meantime, there's an indoor pool that's open all year round. Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center has all the strength and cardio equipment you could want, basketball and racquetball courts, indoor and outdoor tennis, and of course, pickleball. Plus, there's about 85 group fitness classes every week, including my absolute favorite, Sprint. And parents, Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center has complimentary child care with a family membership. There's also swim and tennis lessons for adults and kids. Month to month with no long-term contracts, you have nothing to lose but the winter blues. You can start with a free three-day trial when you stop by Kingston Pike at Pellissippi Parkway. 
call 531-5000 or visit fshfc.com for Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. I'm Michael Jenkins helping you beat the books with Becky Well. New Orleans visits Philadelphia in the NBA tonight with both teams trying to stay in the top six of their respective conferences. Philadelphia has struggled without Joel Embiid going just four and six in their last 10 and failing to cover in 11 of their last 15. The Pels have covered in three of their last four are an impressive 19 and 13 overall on the road this season. Tonight, BetQL's five-star play of the day in the NBA is to grab the Pelicans and lay the points on the road to Philadelphia. Bet smarter and beat the books with BetQL and download the BetMGM app today. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. From the Budweiser Studios of the Sports Animal, we are 99.1, the Sports Animal. Thank you for being with us on Josh and Swain. We'd love if you follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Josh and Swain. We'll be with you until 3 o'clock this afternoon. Brad messaged us to say, I have a craving for Tostitos. With the Final Four in Phoenix, there's a little history there in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl when Tennessee beat Florida State to win the football national championship at the end of the 1998 season. Terrence Oglesby is one of the latest to hop on the big orange bandwagon and say, I'm riding with the Vols. This was on a show hosted by the Field of 68 covering college basketball. He's from Bradley Central High School, by the way. If you remember, Oglesby played at Clemson, now uh, helping cover and analyze the world of college basketball. And he said this after seeing Tennessee beat South Carolina to clinch the SEC regular season title. Well, how bad did that hurt? Secondly, uh, we we just talked about UConn potential to win a national championship. I'm going all in on Tennessee, guys. I, I think they're that good. Rocky Top, Knoxville, Thompson Bowling, the whole the whole shtick. I, I, I think they're that good. You bring back a team, basically everybody on the roster, you bring back a team that makes the Sweet 16, runs into Fort Atlantic, and now you end up playing against uh, – you end up bringing in – not playing against, but you end up bringing in Dalton Connect, who's the best on-ball scorer. What did they miss last year? An on-ball score. Yeah. Santiago Vescovi couldn't create – for himself whenever they played Florida Atlantic. They didn't have anybody that could kind of make something happen. They now have that, and the defense hasn't gone anywhere. Good old Rocky Top. They're going to be singing that in Phoenix. I'm telling you, these guys are dangerous, and whenever you have a score like Connect, it's going to be everybody in the state of Tennessee, even the people in Memphis, John, even the people mm, in Memphis I, I, I are going to be that, singing. I don't think they're going to get that. Everyone they ain't going to get that. <laughs> We'll see about Memphis. There are Tennessee fans in Memphis. Plenty of people on the uh, the west end of the state that are pulling for Tennessee. But Terrence Oglesby says, I'm all in on Tennessee. I got chills, man. You like that? I got chills listening to that one. I mean, this is like my 10th time hearing it. <laughs> but, like, I got chills of thinking about Tennessee you know, compete for a national championship in Phoenix. How cool that would be. There would also be – a lot of Tennessee fans that make the trip. So, sure, there'll be a lot of Rocky Top that you'd hear out in Phoenix, Arizona, if Tennessee's playing out there in the Final Four for the first time in program history. Yeah, man, that'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. But that's what happens when you, when you, when you build it the right way. I mean, it, it's hard to expect microwave results uh, when it comes to you know, winning championships. There's no shortcuts. And... Um, you know, Rick has you – know, he's built it the right way. And he's built it to last. And you take advantage of a, a special group that we have with this team. But, man, this this program not going anywhere. This team will – the program will continue to compete for championships even after this year. But, yeah, this is the year. Like, this is the sweet spot. Uh, didn't know if we would have another opportunity after that 18-19 team because that team was special. But here we are. Here we are. We got every piece we need to go out there and win the whole dang thing. 
The next step is Tennessee against Kentucky on Saturday. We'll get you ready for that game. We'll talk about the seniors who will say goodbye to Tennessee's fans, at least at home, tomorrow as well with two hours to go on Josh and Swain. Hey, folks, it's Jake from Rusty Wallace Kia of Knoxville, and it's time for you to score some bracket-busting deals. You can buy a 2024 Kia Sportage for $3,000 below MSRP or a 2024 Kia Sorento for $2,000 below MSRP or a 2024 Kia Telluride for $1,000 below MSRP. These bracket-busting deals are only here through Saturday night, so hurry in before the buzzer sounds to Rusty Wallace Kia of Knoxville, I-75 at Callahan Drive. Wedby Insurance is Knoxville's premier auto owner's insurance agency. Since 1972, the staff at Wedby has made it a point to provide personalized, prompt, and professional service. Whether you need personal or commercial coverage, Wedby Insurance and Auto Owners Insurance can provide you with the coverage that fits your needs and your budget. For your home, your life, your car, or your business, Wedby Insurance will be there for your family. Contact them at wedbyinsurance.com. That's W-H-E-D-B-E-E insurance.com. Need a new roof? You need Mo Shingles. Need new siding? You need Mo Shingles. Mo Shingles, locally owned and operated with an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating and over 100 five-star reviews. Free estimates, moshingles.com, 770-0506. Ah, spring. It's time to open up the house and let in the fresh air and sunshine. Unless your windows are foggy. (sighs) And you can't see out of them if they're foggy. They're no longer energy efficient, too. Let Instiglass restore your windows and doors before the summer heat strikes. Instiglass can have crystal clear glass installed fast. Get glass fast by calling Instiglass at 865-567-4555. I-N-S-T-I glass.com. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, it's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. With conference championships around the corner, now's the time to register for the Dose Million Bracket Challenge at TwinPeaksBracketChallenge.com. Enter for your chance to win $2 million and more in epic prizes, including a $50 gift card to the top bracket from every lodge. Hello, friends. This is Kevin Frazier, and we're having a gargantuan grand reopening sale at Frazier's Carpet One. Frazier's has just totally renovated our entire store, and we're celebrating by putting everything on sale, whether it's carpet, hardwood, luxury vinyl, ceramic, laminate, and more. It's all on sale. Plus, no money down and free financing for 18 months. If you're even thinking about new flooring, now is the time to call Frazier's at 546-4850. Let us come to you first. Let us make it easy. Our brand new showroom is packed to the rafters with inventory, and we need to get it gone. So everything is on sale for our biggest sale ever. Frazier's, Frazier's, Frazier's. I like your style. It's a gargantuan grand reopening sale from Frazier's Carpet One. Join the fun at the Knoxville Men's Show this weekend at Hill Howie Park. The ultimate expo for men. Axe throwing, a shooting range simulator, cool cars, contests, plus a meet and greet with NBA legend John Conkett. Enjoy live musical performances from Aaron Carter, plus an inflatable racetrack for the kids and other fun stuff too. And don't miss out on the job fair during the show. The free Knoxville Men's Show at Chill Howie Park. Get all the details now at KnoxvilleMenshow.com. Hi, it's me, Tracy King, at Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Text your address to me at 505-7455, and you'll receive your home's highest cash offers in seconds. Text your address to me at 505-7455 and start packing. This is WNML AM Knoxville. WNML FM Friendsville. Screening worldwide on the Sports Animal app and website, 991thesportsanimal.com. 99.1 The Sports Animal, the station where the balls play. This is Andrew Burloff with the CBS Sports Minute, sponsored by L.L. Flooring. L.L. Flooring, every step covered. The Steelers are reportedly meeting with quarterback Russell Wilson, and there's mutual interest. This is important for Wilson because there aren't a lot of options for the nine-time Pro Bowl. He could run into the same problem Cam Newton had. The backup can't be way more famous than the starter. Teams don't want to add pressure to young QBs. For the Steelers to sign Wilson means they don't believe in former first-rounder Kenny Pickett. That's why this is so tricky, and why Wilson would be smart to take the first offer he gets. I'm Andrew Burloff.
When a cold keeps you up, try NyQuil Severe Honey Flavor. The nighttime, sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, fever, honeylicious, best sleep with a cold medicine. Powerful cold and flu symptom relief with a dreamy honey taste to give your body the rest it needs to get that cold gone. Wake up refreshed, feeling relieved after enjoying the delicious flavor of NyQuil Severe Honey. NyQuil Severe Honey Flavor, use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Start your fitness journey with no long-term contracts in month-to-month memberships at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. Some law firms specialize in one thing, but there's one here in East Tennessee that specializes in them all. Call Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group, 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. Hour number two of Josh and Swain is here. Thank you for being with us on this Friday. The weekend is really here, right? It's a big sports weekend. It's a Friday. I think it's I think it's officially the weekend once you get off work on Friday. For being honest, not us, not you and me, but um, Correct. for some on, on Fridays, you kind of throttle down a little bit. So what, what about once you, once you get below like – that's seventy percent in your focus level. Mm. That's more of an internal uh, gauge, I would say. You probably don't want to verbalize that one. Yeah, but you can definitely tell it's Friday. Mm-hmm. No yeah, doubt. Fr- about it. Friday has a feel. Um, you know, Tuesday, I don't think really has much of a feel. Monday definitely has a feel. Mm-hmm. But uh, Friday, no doubt. Friday's got a feel. Wednesdays <laughs> definitely has a feel. Up day. Yep. Yep. So. Uh, Feels like a big weekend coming up. Tennessee at home against Kentucky at the Food City Center. One more game. This season, uh, I feel like from a home standpoint, has flown by. The non-conference, they played a lot of the big games away from home, playing on neutral sites. They went to Madison, Wisconsin, went to North Carolina. So Tennessee will get to host next year. Michigan State. Uh, Right. Exhibition. Yep. Um, Next year, Tennessee will get to host in the ACC, SEC Challenge. But this year, Tennessee went away. The big non-conference home game was Illinois. That was a nice win for Tennessee. Um, but yeah, here it is. Senior day. Uh, it's a second senior day for Josiah and Santi. Uh, that's happened to a few programs around the country, but another chance to say goodbye to them. Dalton was one and done, but what a, what a single season it has been for him as a Tennessee volunteer. Wow. Yeah. Thinking about those guys, you know, kissing the floor. I remember John Fulkerson doing, doing it, um, Mm -hmm. senior day and, That'll be going on around the, around the country. Uh, I saw where Armando Baycott uh, was talking about, you know, his love for North Carolina, uh, all-time leading rebounder in program history, and said he wasn't the best player ever to come through North Carolina, but I bet no one can find anyone else that loves North Carolina like him. And um, that same sentiment, I'm sure, is shared – around the country by a lot of seniors leaving their program, um, a place where they spent four, five, six, or more years um, growing, being molded to be you know, men uh, by the support staff, by the coaches, and they'll have to go out on their own and figure out whether they're playing pro ball or – um, just being a professional. And they're going to miss all those teammates and those relationships and all those moments. Uh, there's nothing like it, man. There, there's nothing like it when you're in the locker room with your guys, or with, your, with, your, with your girls, and you're fighting for the same thing. You come together, different walks of life, different backgrounds, but you all share one thing in common. That's the colors that you wear, and that's the goal to win every game. And it's the last time you'll do it together inside of – 
the Food City Center. And um, it'll be emotional for sure, but you got a job to do. Let's go handle Kentucky. Yep. Tennessee gets ready to host Kentucky, a team that is playing well uh, offensively, uh, is as explosive of a team, as dangerous of, of a team as you're going to face, especially when their young, talented guards get going. Shepard is a terrific talent. Yeah, Dillingham has as much ability as any single player in the country to go get you five to ten points as quickly as you need. Yeah, he's 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 a bucket. Um, he he went crazy on this last game. I know if you're Tennessee, you don't like individual players dropping 25-plus points, 30-plus points on you. And so that would be the thing you want to make sure that you don't allow happen in this game um, by winning because you won the first one. That's the only thing that matters. But still, like, if you want to nitpick, you can't let somebody drop what he dropped on you. He was he was on fire. So, you know, you corral him. Jamai Meshack is playing better ball now than he did versus Kentucky a couple weeks ago. So – uh, watching how we play him, and then Reed Shepard, that dude's good. Very good player. He's real good. So he, might... he won them the game on the road at Mississippi State. That was a, yeah. a win where I thought, okay, that's a that's a tournament quality team. Mississippi State's not going to the Final Four or anything, but you go on the road and win there, that's a big deal. And Shepard did a lot late to get them the win. They trailed in the first half. They had to come back in that game. That was that was an impressive performance by Kentucky that, to me, showed growth, a game that they probably wouldn't have won a month or two earlier. Yeah, he's real good, man. So that battle between him and Ziggler is going to be fun, too. Yep. So it's a, it's a real game. It's mixed in with you say goodbye to the seniors, you celebrate. I mean, fans are going to be there with a celebration on their minds of Tennessee went on the road Wednesday and won a title to so celebrate with the team when they're back at home. Uh, but part of the story with Tennessee this year has been Dalton Connect comes in, players develop, Jordan Ganey comes in as a transfer as well, and then these, these veterans come back. And they win a championship out of it. And now we're talking about what Tennessee can do next. Yesterday, Justin Ganey, associate head coach of Tennessee, talked about that. It's part of the story of the seniors who are saying goodbye tomorrow. But how this team came together and how the veterans helped lead what this team became. I think we have a mature group. I think we have a, a, a group that's, that's, that was returning that was focused on one thing, and that's winning the national championship. And, you know, because... Josiah and Santi, they, they could have went and been pros right now, made a lot of money, been playing at a high, high level. But that wasn't their goal. They, they, they felt like they had more to do in college. They knew they needed, um, uh, you know, help around them. And they've been great welcoming them and, and, and embracing it and, um, and, and molding and, and teaching those new guys. So they, they've been great. And, and it's been a – because of them, it's been a, a really smooth transition. If they came back for another year and said, this is our team, we're going to lead Dalton Connect, you fit in and figure it out along the way, they're not what they are right now as a team. Well, I mean, I mean in a way, that's kind of what happened. Um, I think it's still Josiah and Santi's team. Like, they're still leading, but... Yeah, I, come, I, I mean come... that with the basketball. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, well, that's different. They, uh, they, they gave the basketball to Dalton and said, this yeah, is yours. Yep, 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 yep. They trust, they trust him. The reason why is because they know the work that Dalton put in. That's mm -hmm. why when – and it's, it's different at Tennessee than other places. Not saying that they don't do this other places, but I think fans sometimes think that when a school is bringing in a prospect, it's, it's the school that just you know, is trying to wow the prospect and – and, and trying to impress the prospect and wants the prospect no matter what. Tennessee basketball is like, no, we – you're going to have to earn our trust too. Like, we recruiting you, but you have to recruit us. It has to be a fit. There's been times when guys have come on visits and the players on our team goes back to Rick and go, nah, that's that's not going to work, Coach. That's, that's, not, that's not the right fit for us. And so when Dalton came on his visit – and had that immediate connection with some of the guys on our, on our team and was playing one-on-one -on -one with Jemiah Meshack, and you know the work that Dalton puts in, as a teammate, you don't mind giving him the ball in late-game situations because you know that he is prepared because he's put the work in. That's why I think it's so easy for these guys to kind of move aside when it comes to the basketball and allow Dalton to to do what he does uh, and what he has done at the beginning, excuse me, at the end of, of games this season. There's also the aspect of when we talk about players kind of altering what they're doing on the floor, Josiah and Santi are really smart. They understand the game really well. 
part of that is also coaching, right? They've been in this program for four and a half to five years, so they've learned a, a lot. But yeah. you can you can watch and see them understand what they're supposed to do on the floor better than most players out there. Santi switch on defense where he goes into the post to defend a guy and ends up knocking the ball loose. Uh, Josiah, I think sometimes maybe you'd like him to be a little more aggressive with his shot, but I think he has a pretty good idea of what is a good shot and not. Switching on defense. Those things matter. Yesterday, you asked uh, Justin Ganey if we can hear his answer here about Santi. His role is not to score as much, to take shots as often as he needed to a year ago over the last couple of seasons, but he still does a lot to help Tennessee win. Justin Ganey talked about what Santi does besides trying to score. Yeah, no, Santi is, I mean, he, he, he's a great veteran leader for this team. He's been through some really big games, some tough moments. Um, and so, you know, he, he knows what it takes to, to to get the job done. And you're right, a lot of things he does doesn't stop, show up on the stat sheet. But when we need big plays, when we need big, uh, big stops, when we need big baskets, um, he's a guy that's not afraid of the moment, not afraid to step up in that moment. And, and uh, you know, he, he has a, a great feel for what coach wants. Uh, on both sides of the ball. And, and, and so, you know, in huddle, sometimes you'll see him as the loudest voice. Um, you know, you'll see him on the court kind of coaching guys up, telling them where they're supposed to be and all of that. He's like another um, another coach on the on the floor. And I, I think, you know, it, 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 it helps Zakai a lot too, you know, because it's just another set of eyes, you know, that, that can, you know, help read the game, feel the game, and feel the floor of the game. Justin Ganey, Tennessee's associate head coach, yesterday on the show talking about Santiago Vescovi. Everyone has a role, man. Everyone, everyone can't be Doc Connect. Everyone can't be, you know, the star quarterback. Everyone can't be, you know, the star pitcher. Like everyone has a role to play. And can you be a star in your role? And there's different roles. And the teams that usually are really, really good have a strong understanding inside their locker room of, of roles and, and how those should be played out. Randy in the text box from Maryville, no one deserves a national championship more than Rick Barnes. He's done it the right way. He deserves it. Yeah, I agree. A bunch of coaches around the country would be pulling for him if he's in the spot to win it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, game recognizes game, mm -hmm. right? The, the Tom Izzo's of the world, I mean, it's a reason why Rick Barnes has the respect of some of the best coaches in the game of basketball, period, not just in college. So – there will be so many people happy for Rick Barnes. He deserves it. The question is, if he wins a championship, would he, would he walk away? I think he has a, left, a lot left in the tank, but are you one of those guys who believe, hey, you, you go out on top? Nick Saban just walked away mm -hmm. after you know, losing in the Final Four. So – I mean, Rick is no spring chicken. I don't want him to leave any uh, anytime soon, but that is something that, that's kind of in the back of my mind. Like, all right, if he wins a championship, is he like, yo, let's run it back? Or is he like, yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's a good place to stop? Because Rick doesn't seem like someone that would coach until he is told, dude, you, you're, your team stink now. Like Jim Boeheim, like – he overcoached. Like, he had to be kind of told. Like, you don't want to be told, man. You're a legend. You kind of want to kind of get the get the hint yourself. But Bayham didn't get the hint. He kept coaching, kept losing. And they had to, like, kind of push him out. You, you don't want to do that. So, like, I wonder, would, would Rick walk away kind of like a Nick Saban? Where it's you probably have two or three more years, like maybe even longer, but you're just like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's on the table at any point, right? Yeah, I mean, you just never know. Yep. Uh, I I would think you, let's say they win the national title. I think you at least have the mindset of, i got to finish things out with Zakai, with Jemai. Those those are Rick Barnes-type players, right? Not that, yeah. not that some of these other guys aren't. But, uh, For sure. But Jonas, Zakai, uh, Meshack, that'd, yeah. that'd be a good senior group to kind of come back and try to defend your titles in the SEC. Yeah. I mean, you're doing that either way. Yeah, I would say I would, I would say you want to coach Zakai as long as you can. Zakai is a Coach Barnes dude. Mm -hmm. They were meant for each other. So yeah, if you are Rick, you you want to you want to coach 
at least one more season if you win the national championship to be able to roll with Zakai Ziegler. Who knows? Maybe Zakai says, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Listen, if you if you have a conversation with Zakai uh-huh. and you talk about his eligibility, he's not going to just say two years. Mm-mm. He's not just going to say two years. He knows he's a junior, but he's not going to say two years. He's not wired that way. He don't care how short he is. He's not wired that way, Josh. He's wired like someone who is 6'7 and balling. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's that's what? that's how he works. He yeah. works to have that option. Yeah. Well, a few things. One, I don't find Zakai short at all. Uh, number two, I love that about him. Number three, I would still advise him to consider his height if he's thinking about his eligibility and professional opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm, but I'm going to tell you how he's wired. I understand. Yeah. yeah. And, that's, and that's why he's that good. Because, like, he is – when he works, when he's rehabbing, when he's watching film, his goals are so – big mm-hmm. like he he is reaching for the moon like he's aiming for the moon and if he misses it okay he'll fall amongst the stars like that's that's how he thinks that's how he is wired so yeah you might look at him and go come on Zagar, you 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 really have a goal to play at the nba come on you're not gonna play the nba yeah he does that's why he grinds and like if he doesn't make it, it doesn't make it but mm-hmm. it won't be, be be because of his skills it'll be because of his height something that he can't control but he'll make a ton of money overseas, and that money spends spends the same. That's right. Just not as, just not <laughs> the same amount, but it's still a lot. Yeah, but no, the, uh, th- there's money for him now as a college player. There will be more money for him. He will make yeah. professional yeah. basketball yeah, money. For sure, no for doubt. Sure. Uh, in the meantime, he goes for a win against Kentucky tomorrow, and in the postseason, as does the rest of the Tennessee basketball team. We'll continue on Josh and Swain and invite you to be a part of the show. You can call or text in at 865-656-9900 on Josh and Swain. Is there anything more fun than streaming 99.1 The Sports Animal? Better answer that very carefully. I'll take that as an answer of at least one thing. Elevate your products today with Native Nursery, now open to contractors and landscapers. We're your one-stop destination, offering quality wholesale plants, trees, and landscaping materials. We'll even take your leaves and hardscape ways for a low flat rate. If you're a contractor or landscaper, make Native Nursery your go-to location today. Call or come by and see Ben and Ted. 865-315-0123 and 3473 Little Road. Five minutes from Pellissippi off the Topside Road exit. Spring is here, and it's also known as engagement season. If you've been thinking, hey, now is the time, but you don't know where to go for that perfect ring, you need my jewelry store, TK Wheeler Jewelers. Hey, this is Heather. If you want to stress less and get more bling for your buck, just head on out to South Illinois Avenue in Oak Ridge, the right there next to the Outback Steakhouse. And TK, he's been in business for over 40 years in the Oak Ridge community. He's got his store packed with beautiful gifts for any occasion. But right now, with spring fever popping, you want to pop the big question, you need the perfect engagement ring. Sit down with TK himself. He'll teach you how to buy a diamond. What do all those C's mean? What are the certifications? How do I know what setting she's going to love? He'll really be able to dial in your fiance's taste and make sure you've got a huge selection of diamonds and engagement ring settings to choose from. They've got everything from classic diamond solitaires to the beautiful diamond halo settings. And if you're like me, I love my diamond eternity band. It's from the one and only TK Wheeler Jewelers. This Friday at 9 a.m., go online and catch a sweet deal to Donato's Pizza. Don't miss this one to Donato's Pizza. Going live Friday at 9 a.m. at 991thesportsanimal.com. Hey folks, it's Jake from Rusty Wallace Kia of Knoxville, and it's time for you to score some bracket-busting deals. You can buy a 2024 Kia Sportage for $3,000 below MSRP, or a 2024 Kia Sorento for $2,000 below MSRP, or 
a 2024 Kia Telluride for $1,000 below MSRP. These bracket-busting deals are only here through Saturday night, so hurry in before the buzzer sounds to Rusty Wallace Kia of Knoxville, I-75 at Callahan Drive. Makes a little sports analysis, pop culture, and great interviews, and you've got the Rich Eisen Show podcast. Brian Winworth here. Let's revisit the Lakers again. All I can tell you is the Lakers are coming in under expectations right now. LeBron is 39. LeBron has an option in his contract. The Lakers don't know whether they're going to have their draft pick. I don't know what's going to happen with Bronny James, whether he's in the draft or not. And if he is in the draft, I don't know where he's going to take him. These are all unanswered questions. And that was what makes this kind of a fascinating thing to watch. No doubt. The Rich Eisen Show podcast, wherever you listen. Danny B here. Join us every Saturday morning on the Sports Animal. Visit us at dbwins.com and call our free pick hotline. 877-828-0120. That's 877-828-0120. Hi, it's me, Tracy King, at your home soul, Guaranteed Realty. Text your address to me at 505-7455, and you'll receive your home's highest cash offers in seconds. Text your address to me at 505-7455 and start packing. For 50 years, Waters Equipment New Holland has been the name you've trusted for all your heavy equipment and service needs. Waters Equipment is your full-service New Holland equipment dealer, offering a large selection of new and rental equipment, along with state-of-the-art service center that is second to none. Stop by one of the two locations in Maryville and put their decades of experience to work for you. Call 238-9000 or visit watersequipmentco.com. Waters Equipment New Holland, the best in heavy-duty equipment and vehicle maintenance, proud supporters of UT Athletics. The minute folks step into Dollywood in my Smoky Mountains, I want them to fill their hearts with all the beautiful things in this big old world. Dollywood, love every moment. Plan your visit today at dollywood.com. This is Coach Josh Heupel. You're listening to Josh and Swain on 99.1, the sports animal. Back on Josh and Swain. Thanks for being with us on both 99.1 The Sports Animal and AM640 The Sports Monster. Hello to everybody in the Tri-Cities area. Thank you for hanging out with us today. We'll be with you until 3 o'clock. Tyler and Will will take over on The Sports Animal coming up at 3. We invite you to join us at 865-656-9900. Getting ready for Tennessee and Kentucky. Rick Barnes versus John Calipari. So you have the the rivalry aspect, the mutual respect between Barnes and Calipari. They're buds, but fiercely competitive. And remember a few weeks ago, the loss at the end of the LSU game, Kentucky hits a shot, and then LSU comes down to the other end and hits a shot. And we watched the video of the sports bar in Lexington where Kentucky fans are watching and the heartbreak that took place when that LSU shot went in. Remember the joy you felt watching there? Joy disappear. You're making me feel like a bad person, Josh. But yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you want similar scenes to be on display at about 6 p.m. tomorrow Mm-mm. from Lexington? Mm-mm. You want them at 5 o'clock, 5.30? No, I just don't want their hopes to be up at the, the end of the, the game. Yeah, you, you want the, the disappointing scenes to be much earlier when yeah, I, I want. I want. I want. Filing out. I want the. Uh, you want empty bars because fans have decided to just go on home. I want the specks of Big Blue Nation that will be in attendance tomorrow. I want them leaving <laughs> in the last three minutes of the game. That's what I want. Okay. I don't. I don't even want it to be that close at the end. Uh-uh. Okay. I know yeah. you do. Ch- yeah. Choose. Choose. You, you like uh, that? It's a reasonable start time. Four o'clock. So we're not talking about some. 8 p.m., 9 p.m. tip-off with a bunch of replays. Would you prefer to see Tennessee win by 20 to 25 points or Santi or Josiah hitting a game winner to beat Kentucky in their final home game as a Tennessee volunteer? 20, 25 points. Okay. That's fine. Perfectly fine choice. We got we got to get Don Connect some rest. <laughs> <laughs> you, what you want is the 
the timeout with about three minutes to go where Rick starts calling the seniors over and they get their slow walk off mm-hmm. the court so the fans can applaud them. Yeah. That's a perfectly fine choice. You know, like when you're watching boxing or uh, UFC and in between rings, the fighter sits down and the coach is talking to him. Hey, champ, come on, man. There you go. You got keep your, keep your jab going. Come on, man. <laughs> keep, keep your hands up. And then there's somebody behind them, like, giving them a massage, a cut man, putting ice on their neck. Yeah. Like, that's what we need to do to Don Connect. Every time out, there's like an ice man. Just making sure Don <laughs> Connect. Make sure he's loose. Yeah. Give him a little massage. Shoulders, <laughs> calf. You need, you need a heat pad. You, you good, Don? You need some water. I, I got you. Just, just make sure Dalton's good now. We, we need <laughs> Dalton good to go for the NCAA tournament. Beat them by as many points as possible. Yeah. I, by we, any means possible. That's Jackie in the text box. Remember 2018-19 they came in here? Grant Williams throwing oops to uh, Jordan Bowden. That was fun. You enjoyed that? Yeah. That we was love a beat. buzzer beaters. It's March, Swain. Uh, mm I like other teams doing buzzer beaters. I want my teams you just want, doing the beating. <laughs> you want sweat-free, leisurely cheering. I want beat downs. I want my blood pressure getting all high because I'm freaking out because our team is in a uh, one-shot, go-home, or advanced situation. I don't want I don't, beat down. That's what I like. What's wrong with you? Why would you not like the same thing? Entertaining. Um you watch other games for entertainment. I've probably got some screenshots I can find in, t- in text messages right now. Friends who wear a you know wearable device, Apple Watch, Fitbit, Whoop, whatever, Whoop and and their heart rates. <laughs> They'll go back and look and see what their heart rate was in those final minutes. Some activity. Mm-mm. No, I I'll bet it, I'll bet it happened the final two minutes of the South Carolina game. No, I can't. I can't. I can't put myself in that situation, man. Mm-mm. It takes a while to come down from that. Mm-hmm. That was me at the high school state championship game. Yeah. It takes a while. Yeah, your daughter mm-hmm. playing for a state title this past yeah, week. I'd, li- I'd like to see the wearable tracking from Swain, I, I Catholic look, going for the state title this past week. I might have to go back and look at it. If my, phone wasn't, if my watch wasn't dead at the time. <laughs> um, but, yeah, give, give, give me the comfortable victory so we can – do the curtain call. Let's get Cam Carr in there. Bright it up, Cam Carr. A little tomahawk dunk at the end. Let's let's get that. P- J.P. Estrella, let's get him shooting some three points from the outside. Why not? We up 20. You know, get no the, shot the, clock violations in this one. You 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 shoot until the game runs yeah, out. Yeah, let, let the walk-ons get in there and get you a, get you a shot. Like, think about, because I think we have a senior walk-on, correct? Yes. Colin Coyne. Man, let him play. Yeah, absolutely. That's why you want the beat down. You want him to get in there. I mean, get get you a little bit of that stat sheet, man. Get get your name in there, man. Get you get you a point or two. <laughs> get you some of this action. Get you some. I like it. Yeah. Get you a rebound, assist, do something in your last game. You don't want your last game on the bench. You don't want your last game to be in there. Yeah, three shot attempts against Kentucky because it's a blowout. That's what you want. I don't think it's gonna happen, but that's what you want. Right. Right. Yeah, to, to be clear, we think this will be a tough game. Oh, it's going to be a real tough game. Uh, Lance with a question that I, I'm not prepared to answer yet, but he asks if Tennessee is a one seed in the West bracket, will Josh be able to stay up and watch the games? No. You, I can answer that. That answer is no. No way. You're going to have to, though. Man. you got you got to make a uh, concession for that. I know I, I sacrifice. That's your routine. Yeah, I sacrifice. But come on, man. Tennessee, one seed, chance to win that championship. Drink some coffee, bro. Take a this nap. Has been, the next this day. has been a big coffee week. I got a fresh cup right here. Take a, take a nap the next day. Do that. I thought about I thought about that though. It's a concern. Tennessee playing in the West. Yeah, it's a concern. That makes sense. You over here agreeing with my points. Yeah, I think Tennessee, a number two, and, you know, playing in Charlotte would be yeah, really, really to good. Uh, it's a lot better. And Josh is like, yeah, I agree, Swain. Good point. Good point, Swain. Yeah, I got your back. I got your back, Swain. That's an awesome point. I agree 100% with you. Now I know I use agreeing. 
Because you're just sleepy, man. You're just sleepy. That's all. Keep the Vols home. CJ wants 20-plus Ws every game. Blow them out. That's, that's what I want. Chip, uh, with your boxing analogy, says someone needs to be in Kentucky's corner ready to throw the white towel to stop that beating. Stop the fight. Stop it. No, we're not. We, we can't expect that. No, Kentucky's a good team. Uh, I mean, it, it, team. It, it's basketball. You can. It's a volatile sport. So Tennessee could beat them by 20 tomorrow. I expect that Kentucky's going to beat it, be in it until the end. That's what I'm expecting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tim in the text box. This is for Swain. What did the nut say to the other nut while chasing him? Uh, what's that? I'm going to catch you. <laughs> That's something else, man. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. You going to use that one? You going to steal that one? Uh, yeah, that's a great one. It's a classic right there. Oh, you know what Steve Jobs' favorite type of nut was? Uh, apple nut? Macadamia. We'll come back here on Josh and Swain, 865-656-9900 to join us. 90 minutes to go on both 99.1 The Sports Animal and AM640 The Sports Monster. 99.1 The Sports Animal and Coors Light are going to help you chill out and get fired up. Listen weekdays for the cue to call to become a finalist in the Coors Light Chill It and Grill It contest. You could win an awesome outdoor grill, a Yeti cooler, Coors Light swag, and a $100 gift card. He'll draw one finalist from the Jungle Email Club, too. Listen for your chance to chill it and grill it from Coors Light and the station for hot prizes and cool contests. 99.1 The Sports Animal. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the Sports Animal. The Lady Vols defeated Kentucky in the SEC tournament yesterday thanks to Sarah Puckett's career-high 22 points to help the Lady Vols defeat the Wildcats 76-62. to Tennessee faces the number four seed Alabama in the SEC tournament quarterfinals today. Tip-off is set for 2.30. Catch the game right here on the Sports Animal. Tennessee softball has won six in a row. The Lady Vols take on Missouri State this afternoon at Sherry Parker Lee Stadium. First pitch is set for 3 o'clock. Tennessee baseball puts its 12-game win streak up against Illinois tonight at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. First pitch is at 6 o'clock. The Knoxville Ice Bears are back in action at home this weekend with games on Friday and Saturday against the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs. Tonight's game at the Civic Coliseum is set for 7.35. And fourth-ranked Tennessee Hoops goes up against 15th-ranked Kentucky at Food City Center at Thompson Bowling Arena to close out the regular season. The Vols have already clinched the outright regular season title in the SEC. Tip-off tomorrow is at 4 o'clock. Catch the game right here on The Sports Animal. I'm Joel Silverberg. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. This story is called The Ugly Truth About Timeshare. If you think you've done your family a favor by buying a timeshare, you need my help. Hello, I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group. Ten years ago, I started helping folks cancel their timeshare. In the process, started what's now called the timeshare cancellation industry. The ugly truth is when you buy a timeshare, you can't tell me how much it's going to cost or when it's going to end. I recently helped a couple that had their maintenance fees go from $800 to $3,200 a year. They also received a $4,000 assessment for a hurricane that was over 1,000 miles away. Sound crazy? The crazy thing is, this never ends. Call my office now. If we take you as a client, I guarantee we'll cancel your time share or you'll pay nothing. Call for your free information kit. Call 800-462-3333. That's 800-462-3333. 800-462-3333. Wow, these bank fees are flat out ridiculous. And forget about trying to get a car or home loan. So, uh, do you do your banking with Sharon? Me? I don't. You use a bank? No. So what do you like, save your money under a mattress? Bury it in the backyard? Or maybe you borrow from some rich relative when you need a loan? No, nothing like that. I do credit unioning. Wait, what? Credit unioning? What the heck's up? It's kind of like banking, but so much better. Especially if you use Alcoa 10 Federal Credit Union. Shopping for an auto loan? Shopping for a vehicle is easy the ATFCU way. 
Talk to Alcoa 10 before you shop so you can hit the lots with a same-day pre-approved loan and you can get behind the wheel of that new or used car or truck. Alcoa 10 Federal Credit Union, the clear choice. Your less red tape banking alternative. Go to atfcu.com for details. Member NCUA, an equal housing lender. Introducing Whitehead Auto Sales. With two convenient locations, Alcoa and South Knoxville, Whitehead Auto Sales is closer than ever before. From the moment you step onto our lot, we're there for you. From start to finish, our dedicated team will guide you through every step of your car buying journey. Voted number one three times in a row in beautiful Blunt County, our cars reflect our dedication to quality, just like our service. Experience the difference. WhiteheadAutoSales.com. The most common form of treatment for the arthritic joints is normally cortisone injections and gel shots and over-the-counter medications. And most patients have tried all of that and are still in pain. Every day, Dr. Aaron Wolkoff, a QC Kinetics medical director, meets patients who have exhausted every method to get relief. They've been told surgery is their only option. They want to stay away from that path, and they come to us almost as the last hope. So we're using our own body's properties to help manage pain, to help slow arthritis down, keep the patients active with no downtime, and get them back to what they enjoy doing. I mean, I love what I do. QC Kinetics regenerative treatments from our board-certified providers help heal and restore aching joints. No surgery, harmful drugs, or downtime. Call for your free consultation today. Call QC Kinetics, 865-238-4799. That's 865-238-4799. 865-238-4799. You run a great local business. Unfortunately, it's buried on page 15 when people search for your service online. Thankfully, there's Cumulus Boost. Cumulus Boost helps your business increase your online presence. Don't get overshadowed by large corporations when your neighbors need your business the most. You work too hard to go unnoticed. Get a boost with Cumulus Boost today at cumulusboost.com. That's C-U-M-U-L-U-S boost.com. This report is sponsored by Eastern Kentucky University. At Eastern Kentucky University, we're changing the game with free textbooks for all students, automatic scholarships, and programs that fit your career goals. Choose from 100-plus game-changing degree programs. Apply today for free at start.eku.edu slash apply. Temperatures are near 66 degrees this afternoon. we got the clouds and on and off showers, so keep that rain gear handy. We'll drop to 54 degrees overnight. More rain as that cold front pushes through throughout the day on Saturday, dropping temperatures by Sunday. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Paige Noel. Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. Life's troubles aren't always fun, but there's a law group in town who will help you get them done. Call Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group, 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. Yesterday's transistor radio is today's cell phone, but the signal is now worldwide. Stream us everywhere. 99.1 The Sports Animal. Fair, honest sports conversation from two guys that define credibility. Here's Josh and Swain on The Sports Animal. Thanks for being with us on Josh and Swain on this Friday afternoon, getting ready for a big weekend. If you want to go back and listen to any of today's show, any conversation we've had this week, search Josh and Swain anywhere you get your podcast. You could do that each and every day thanks to Beatty Chevrolet. We invite you to join us at 865-656-9900. Swain, earlier today, Jeremy Pruitt's appeal to the NCAA was denied with the release from the NCAA on their website, the NCAA Division I Infractions Appeals Committee affirmed 
The findings of violations related to recruiting impermissible benefits and ethical conduct rules. The appealed violations stem from payments made to the mothers of a prospective student athlete and a current student athlete and the provision of misleading information regarding those payments. After review of the case record, the Infractions Appeals Committee affirmed the appealed findings of violations because Pruitt failed to demonstrate there was a lack of information in the case record to support the decision by the Committee on Infractions. Additionally, he failed to show no reasonable person would have made the same determinations based on the credibility of the witnesses and information. So the show cause penalty will stand for Jeremy Pruitt. Oh, man. It really stinks for Jeremy Pruitt that this happened to him because, like, it's kind of like Reggie Bush not being able to get his Heisman back. And honestly, like, this is even worse because the 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 next year NIL is legal and – you can play. You can pay players, and here he is having to sit out, not coach, not be able to provide for his family because of this rule. Now he did break the rules, and boy, was he sloppy with it. But at the same time, like it stinks that it gets all. It's all legal now. Uh, the only reason why I'm over here laughing is because NCAA has been catching L's left and right. They can't get a win, and. NCAA treated Pruitt like the get right game. They treated Pruitt like a pay game. And I was laughing, and I stopped laughing because Pruitt did lose to Georgia State. It, made, it brought up bad memories, and I got sad again. It was the 2019 season opener. I'm aware, Josh. I'm aware. But that's things for Pruitt, man. Yeah. It, it's, I, honestly, it's kind of weird to read yeah. and say out loud, knowing the environment that we're in. And you, you're totally correct. I'm, uh, even some of the findings, he did not a- appeal. He appealed part of them. Uh, he did not appeal the uh, violations of recruiting impermissible benefits and uh, his violation of head coach responsibility rules. But uh, the other part he did – appeal and he lost that it's just like if you're in jeremy pruitt's position and you're seeing all these posts of current players getting their big car deals or you see commercials with the players and everything else and you know i'm sure he still has friends in the industry where he's hearing what players are getting to do whatever that has to be a pretty uncomfortable feeling knowing he has several years to go in his show cause. So I'm not even saying he should have won the appeal. It's just, it's odd. It's a, it's an odd time when you're seeing, he was he was this close <laughs> to rule changes that would have made what he was doing obsolete and could have just handed it over to somebody else. Yeah, the, uh, he should be able to coach. Like, he should have been fired. And listen, if you want to take his buyout, cool, whatever, but like, he should be able to coach now, moving forward. Let him go coach, man. Like he ain't, he's not going to be a head coach because he's proven that he right, can't right. you know, run an operation as a head coach. But he should be able to go coach. If I were choosing, I would say I would grant him time served, his show cause is over, and I would let him go coach college football without a show cause. Yeah, go coach, man. Like we've, we've seen – I've seen coaches get caught dead left or right. In college, and it's not put out publicly with a ton of details, just a little bit. And then that coach goes to the NFL for a couple of years, and then like he comes back to college, and there's nothing. Mm-hmm. There's nothing about it. There's nothing to say. Uh, there's two coaches that come r- to mind right now. One's coaching at Oregon. The other one's coaching at LSU now, and. I just think with all the changes in college football, Reggie Bush should get his housing back, and Jeremy Pruitt should be allowed to go coach. Because at this point, it's not like Jeremy Pruitt hasn't been punished. 
Lost his job, lost a lot of money in the buyout, and he hasn't tell him, tell him he hasn't coached in the last two seasons at a high level. One year he spent in the NFL with the yeah, Giants. Yeah, I mean he's, I mean he's embarrassed. He, he embarrassed himself. Mm-hmm. And you know his wife was was mentioned. I mean that's embarrassing, man. To be the butt of all jokes, talking about fast food bags and you know having your wife name in there then you know having uh eli drinkwitz make comments about it like he's been humiliated he has lost a ton of money he's lost his job i think he's suffered enough and he had to go back and live in alabama i mean come on man yeah that's the the cherry on I top know. come on guy let the, the punishment guy, sunday let, let the guy give a job So I got your back, Pruitt. Even though I talked to you for like three and a half seconds during my time, I'm doing your time here at Tennessee. Yeah, I have no personal connection for bias to be a factor here with uh, with Jeremy Pruitt. No, no. I just I just look at the way things are now in college football and college athletics, and think I I think time served would would be just in this point. But the NCAA disagreed. Good job, a, NCAA. A get right case. A get right case for the NCAA. They finally got a, finally got a win, man. It's kind of like Vanderbilt beating Hawaii football that one season. Job. <laughs> that one season will come back here on Josh and Swain. Invite you to join us eight six five six five six ninety nine hundred. We're getting you ready for the weekend. Big weekend coming up. Tennessee, Kentucky at the Food City Center. This is Josh and Swain. For over 100 years, Marvin has been helping contractors and homeowners bring their building projects to life. Marvin Windows and Doors will inspire you to create with confidence, value, and distinction. When you choose expertly crafted Marvin products from Hiwassee Window, you have the support you need to make every window and door project a success. Let their professional sales staff, with over 90 years combined experience, help you choose the right product. Find your Marvin Windows and Doors today at Hiwassee Window, 865-675-3690, just off Level Road. We're teaming up with Barley's Tap Room and Pizzeria to give you a shot at the Million Dollar Madness Bracket Challenge. This year, we're stepping into the hysteria by giving you the chance to win $1 million. Jump into the buzzer-beating action by registering your bracket. And if you make the perfect pick, that's a million-dollar bracket. Get 60 picks, that's 10 grand. Plus, there's a $500 prize for the best bracket in East Tennessee. Register your bracket today at 991thesportsanimal.com. Presented by Barley's Tap Room and Pizzeria. Any bracket is just better with Barley's. Leonard Skinner, ZZ Top, two American institutions unite. The Sharp Dressed Simple Man Tour. Friday, March 15th, Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center with Blackstone Cherry. On sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Skinner and ZZ Top live. Hey folks, it's Jake from Rusty Wallace Kia of Knoxville, and it's time for you to score some bracket-busting deals. You can buy a 2024 Kia Sportage for $3,000 below MSRP, or a 2024 Kia Sorento for $2,000 below MSRP, or a 2024 Kia Telluride for $1,000 below MSRP. These bracket-busting deals are only here through Saturday night, so hurry in before the buzzer sounds to Rusty Wallace Kia of Knoxville, I-75 at Callahan Drive. Texting privacy policy and Terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for recurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stopped, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Attention homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? Fog between the glass. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's time to replace. And right now, you can get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson. Plus, with our March 31-day sales event, you can save $377 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Just text HOT to 200-300 for your free consultation on top quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no monthly payments, and no interest for a year. That's right, you don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text HOT to 200-300 to save $377 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Hurry, this incredible 31-day sales offer is only in March. Text HOT to 200-300. Text the word HOT to 200-300. HOT to 200-300. 
Danny B here. Join us every Saturday morning on the Sports Animal. Visit us at dbwins.com and call our free pick hotline. 877-828-0120. That's 877-828-0120. We're here with Michael Rainwater, another satisfied patient of Dr. Jim Kotsianis, General Link Cosmetic Dentistry. Well, Will, I've been a uh, patient of Dr. Jim Kotsianis' for a little over 15 years now. I trust him as a provider of dental care. But one of the things that I've found through the years is that I've never felt pressured to have additional work done and then letting you be involved in making the decision. New patients welcome to call Dr. Jim at 584-0276 or drjimdentist.com. Hey, Knoxville. It's your local State Farm agent, Josh Hemphill. When you combine State Farm home and auto insurance, you save an average of $889. Contact the Josh Hemphill team right here in Farragut at 865 675 The 19th Amendment to the Constitution giving women the right to vote is known as the Susan B. Anthony Amendment. She was a leading voice in the women's suffrage movement and once wrote, there never will be a complete equality until women themselves help to make the laws and elect lawmakers. She clearly is one of the heroines. She knew that failure was impossible. We salute one of the founders of the women's right movement, Susan B. Anthony. Cumulus Media and 99.1 B Sports Animals celebrate women's history month from the Budweiser studios of the sports animal we are 99.1 the sports animal Thank you for being with us on Josh and Swain. Good Friday afternoon. Joel Silverberg producing for us as always. We're with you until 3 o'clock. VFL and former Tennessee wide receiver Jason Swain is here. I'm Josh Ward. Charles texted in. Never thought I'd hear Swain say he has Jeremy Pruitt's back after what happened. Jeff texted in. By the way, I went through the the box score of that 2019 opener. We might need to revisit if Swain has his back still. I take, uh, I take it back, man. <laughs> Double the sentence. <laughs> I mean, the players Tennessee had on the field. No excuse to be losing Georgia State by multiple scores until the last-minute score by Tennessee. Tennessee scored a touchdown with two seconds remaining in the game to keep the final score deficit from being 15 points. It was 38-30 to final score you know that what? Saturday. Here's your penalty. Here's your penalty. I remember when I was uh, younger, I had to go through a – Scared straight program because, you know, I had some behavior issues. And, like, the first stop I made off the bus was at the uh, chain gang. It was busting up rocks. And, like, um, it made me think, like, your punishment to society or your your debt to society, your punishment has to be busting up rocks. Well, Jeremy Pruitt's debt to society, his punishment should be he has, he has to be the head coach of Alabama. <laughs> You gotta be the head coach. Well, you gotta be the head coach of Alabama. Who, uh, sorry, whose punishment is who's who's getting punished in that situation? He is. He is. Yeah. Because he's he's not qualified to be a head coach, and it's the hardest job right now in college football to follow a legend, in Nick Saban. And once he's the head coach at Alabama, Tennessee will drum him. Every single year that he's a head coach. Every year. That should be his punishment. And that should be a prize for us for having him as our head coach and having to lose to Georgia State, losing to BYU, Mm -hmm. not even coming close against Alabama, losing to Georgia, losing to Florida. That's the universe blessing the Vols. That's what should happen. What you think about my idea? Uh, Hate well, it, love it. That's the ruling of the obviously impartial <laughs> Judge Swain. Hmm. I'm like Judge Joe Brown over here, man. <laughs> Jim Pruitt, you have to go be the head coach of Alabama. You got to work for free, by the way. No payment? <laughs> no payment. That's your punishment, okay. man. That's your punishment. It was, I, it was all good when you was in D.C., and Nick Saban was the head coach. No, 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 no. You got to be the head coach. No payment. 
deal with all the expectations, all the criticism, and you can't cheat. I, I think you know that I'm not a, a legal or antitrust expert in any way, but from some of the things I've heard recently, I'm not sure completely restricting pay is going to work in this situation. But, hey, you're the judge. <laughs> what the judge says goes. That's right. Exactly. Uh, Jeff says, Vol Twitter needs to rescue Jeremy Pruitt. Wouldn't that be quite a twist in the storyline? A little harsh, man. A little harsh that he's not coaching. Yeah. Uh, the the story the- we're discussing, the NCAA denied the appeal today from Jeremy Pruitt. Yeah, a little harsh. Uh, the Dine Tindall 10-year show calls, harsh. Like, right is right, wrong is wrong. NCAA obviously uh, has been exposed of running a sham all these years. And let folks coach and play, get their trophies or whatever that you took it, took the, took it away from them. Uh, for whatever rules you had that really was illegal in the first place. So that's how I feel about it, man. Like, go let Pruitt coach. Have you gotten your NCAA hat? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what? It'd be funny today if you're rocking the NCAA hat. No. <laughs> NCAA gets a win. <laughs> they finally get a win, man. Finally. Finally. Golly, man. Tennessee basketball will look to get a win tomorrow, <laughs> senior day at the Food City Center. The Vols getting ready for Kentucky. We'll get you ready over the next hour. We invite you to join us. You can call or text in to the show. Same number for either option. 865-656-9900 to join us. Dalton Connect, Santiago Vescovi, Josiah Jordan-James say goodbye to Tennessee fans, at least at home, before they get ready for the postseason run. We'll get ready over the next hour as we continue right here on Josh and Swain. Join Tyler and Will this Tuesday from 3 to 7 live at Frazier's Carpet 1 on Western Avenue. Come by and celebrate huge savings on carpet, hardwood, ceramic, and more. Call today for a free in-home estimate. Frazier's, 546-4850. This Friday at 9 a.m., head to 991thesportsanimal.com and grab two unlimited ride passes for just $49.99 to attractions at the Island in Pigeon Forge. The Island, your destination to eat, shop, play, and stay in the heart of Pigeon Forge. If you haven't tried Dough Ball yet, what are you waiting for? Dough Ball is an award-winning cookie dough-flavored whiskey. Dough Ball's a whiskey that rolls in like a mischievous bulldog who just found your secret stash. With irresistible aromas of freshly baked cookies wafting from the oven, don't be fooled. This bulldog comes with a cookie dough-infused bite of chocolate, butter, and hints of caramel. Pour a glass and unleash the bulldog within. You'll be wowed by the mixture of flavors. Dough Ball Cookie Dough Whiskey. Ask for it by name at your local beverage store. Hi, I'm Nick Nico with Keller Williams Realty. Timing, as we know, plays such a major part in any sport. Whether it's our vols strategically mapping out one for a win or your approach to the real estate market, timing and execution play a major part. Many think that today's real estate rates are too high to make a play in this market. At the Nico Real Estate Team, we've played a major role in many strategic plays to help our people win. Whether selling or buying your home at the same time, downsizing, or pulling equity to remodel your home. You name it, my team has put together plays even with high interest rates in this market to help them reach their goals. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, don't allow for the mass media to tell you now is not the time. Maybe you're looking for a HELOC to do some much needed repairs. Whatever your play is, we would love to help you draw one up and not only get you in the game, but to win. We're local, we're experts in the area, and we'll win for you. Find us online at nicoteam.com. That's N-I-C-A-U-D team.com. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. This story is called The Ugly Truth About Timeshare. If you think you've done your family a favor by buying a timeshare, you need my help. Hello, I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group. Ten years ago, I started helping folks cancel their timeshare. In the process, started what's now called the timeshare cancellation industry. The ugly truth is when you buy a timeshare, you can't tell me how much it's going to cost or when it's going to end. I recently helped a couple that had their maintenance fees go from $800 to $3,200 a year. They also received a $4,000 assessment for a hurricane that was over 1,000 miles away. Sound crazy? The crazy thing is, this never ends. Call my office now. 
If we take you as a client, I guarantee we'll cancel your time share or you'll pay nothing. Call for your free information kit. Call 800-462-3333. That's 800-462-3333. 800-462-3333. Hi, I'm Andy Lehman with Lehman Jewelers. Since 1983, we have made it our mission to spread smiles by helping you celebrate your special moments and achievements. At Lehman Jewelers, we strive to give every customer a five-star experience, regardless of budget or need. If you're looking for a local jeweler that you can trust, we would love to show you why Lehman Jewelers is the right choice for you. But don't take my word for it. Here's what our customers are saying about us. Michelle R. said, the staff are very knowledgeable and super nice. They're the best in town if you want to get a piece redesigned or you want to add a new stone to a ring. Barbara T. said, great staff and very helpful, quick service and answered all my questions about the repairs. I would definitely recommend them to family and friends. Thanks, Michelle and Barbara. So if you're ready to stop the search, Layman Jewelers wants the opportunity to be your five-star jeweler with two locations to serve you in Turkey Creek and Maryville. Or visit us online at laymanjewelers.com. This is WNML-FM Friendsville, WNML-AM Knoxville, Cumulus Media Stations, broadcasting worldwide from the Budweiser Studios. We are 99.1 The Sports Animal. This is Jim Rome with the CBS Sports Minute, sponsored by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. Old Trapper, what's your beef? The Ant-Man, Anthony Edwards. This guy's absolutely insane and never more so than last night. And I know you would agree with that statement if you saw that game-winning swat. If you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you have not seen it, you need to see it because my guy nearly impaled himself on the rim. I'm Jim Rome. Purchase new wiper blades from O'Reilly Auto Parts today and we'll install them for free. See better and drive safer with O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger. Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. O'Reilly Auto Parts can help you find a repair shop with our shop referral program. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts or visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Start your fitness journey with no long-term contracts in month-to-month memberships at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. Whether you're facing divorce, injury, or any legal strife has come your way, there's one call to make to Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group, 294-8008 at attorney-knoxville.com. Hour number three of Josh and Swain begins. Thank you for being with us. We'll get you ready for a big basketball weekend. Conference tournament action has already started in college hoops with mid-major tournaments. SEC tournament will take place next week. The Vols will play in the early window next Friday. They get the, the bye through Wednesday and Thursday, of course, as the number one seed going into the SEC tournament. They also have Kentucky tomorrow. Swain, we have this message. Uh, it is for you. It's from Dave. Don't in- start nothing. It won't be nothing, Josh. Well, let's see. The number, by the way, if you'd like to call or text anytime, is 865-656-9900. All texts are certainly welcome. Dave texts in. Tell Swain. It's missing an I, so it's spelled Swan, but I think Swain is the intention. When he's in Rupp next time, look up and try not to drool. Respect Big Blue. Because you may get a butt kicking on Saturday. That's from Dave in Pigeon Forge. (sighs) 
Dave, you say? Dave. First, David. <laughs> um, I have no reason to want to go to Rupp. And didn't I tell you what the comeback was going to be? I told you, didn't I? I told you what the comeback was going to be. What was the comeback, Josh? What did I say? What did I say the comeback was going to be? It's not rhetorical. Go ahead. What'd you say? I said, Kentucky fans will say when Tennessee fans are reminding them of how they've been getting their butt kicked by Tennessee. Oh, they always lately. point to basketball. They always point to yeah. the past. Mm-hmm. That's what David did. When you're up arena and you and you look up at the at the banners, that's cool. That's cool, David. That was then. We talk about now. You know why I know that tactic? It's because we, Tennessee football fans, use it too. We use it too. We use it on Vanderbilt fans. When Vanderbilt fans were reminding us how we was getting our butt kicked and out of 10 years the series was split and how embarrassed and shameful we were, we had nothing to say because we had no business losing to Vanderbilt in football. And the only thing we could say was, well, what about the last 50 years? (laughs) What about the last 100 years? When's the last time you won a championship? Did you win a 98 championship? That's what we do to Vanderbilt fans when they were reminding us how they were beating us. They don't do it anymore because they stink, and we've been beating them. But that's how I know about that tactic that Kentucky basketball fans use against us because we used it a couple years ago against Vandy. No, no, no. Talk about now. Talk about right now, David, when, when Tennessee went up there and put a 100 on, on Kentucky in rough. Talk about Rick Barnes' record versus Kentucky over the last couple of years. Talk about that. You know why you don't want to talk about it? Because it ain't good. That's why. So you're going to talk about the Final Fours and the Banners. Cool. Awesome. Great job. And I said, you might win tomorrow. Wouldn't be surprised. Kentucky's a good basketball team. Really good. Tennessee, still SEC champions. Still going to the tournament, a better team than Kentucky, with a better chance to go farther. But that's all right, Dave. You know, talk about them banners, man. Talk about them. Cool. Kentucky versus Tennessee tomorrow for the Wildcats is about trying to split the season series. At best, Kentucky can split with Tennessee, assuming they don't face each other in the postseason. But Tennessee has the championship. Tennessee's had the head-to-head advantage here over – Several years with Rick Barnes as the head coach. Several. And Tennessee will be the higher-seeded team in the NCAA tournament. Several years, mm-hmm. Josh. Not a, oh, look at it. They just got lucky that one game. Oh, they just had a special year. Several years. It has been a theme. Which show name do you prefer? Josh and Wayne? <laughs> as I stated earlier, with the inability to talk, or... Josh and Swan, as Dave spelled it without the I in the text box. Josh and Wayne or Josh and Swan? Which one has the – or is this where you really would like to pivot to John and Swain? Get me out of here and bring in <laughs> John Haney, who hopped on the show with us last week. Is it time for John and Swain? Is this the is this the? No, move? no, no. I don't know which one I would go with. Okay. Uh, but I, I knew Dave was going to pull that, man. Yep. I knew it. Because that's the, that's the only thing Kentucky fans can say right now. That's the only thing you got. The text, tell Swain when he's in Rupp next time, look up and try not to drool. Uh-huh. Respect uh-huh. Big Blue. Yeah. Look up and try not to drool. Talking about that pass. <laughs> hold on to it, man. Hold on to it. Banner Envy. Yeah, hold on to it. Yeah, hold on to it. And I do respect Big Blue now. I, yeah. I, I respect him. Which is why... Yeah, both can be true. You you can respect the program and talk trash when you win and get up for the game. You, that's why the win matters. Yeah. Because it's you don't good, like Alabama. I'm pretty sure you respect the program Yeah, for what like, it's been. Like, when you win against a good program, mm-hmm. it means more. Like, you don't see me over here bragging about Tennessee beating Vanderbilt or anything, unless it's baseball, because that's what you're supposed to do. But when you beat Kentucky in basketball consistently, like what Rick Barnes has done... Like, it means something because Kentucky is one of the blue bloods. So, John, or David, like, you 
you're not going to get me today. You're not going to get me. I, I like when people come at Swain. Uh, you're not going to get me because <laughs> I respect Kentucky. Mm-hmm. I know how great they are. There was a time when I was in eighth grade that I wanted to play basketball at Kentucky because I had a really good friend who was All-American who went there. And Tubby Smith was the coach. I wanted to play ball at Kentucky. I was a basketball player first. So I know how great Kentucky's history is. <laughs> I get it. Which why? You trying to be slick over there? I'm stating the facts here, Josh. Okay. Go look at the records. <laughs> Kentucky's one of the best programs in college basketball history. <laughs> okay. I, I'm emphasizing history, okay? Yeah. Yep. But, I also like to emphasize Rick Barnes' record versus that saying in Kentucky. And it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. So here's my advice. David sounds like a pretty good guy. Sounds like it. Sounds like a good guy. Need to work on some spelling, but sounds like a good guy. Don't we all? I'm just going to give you some advice because I know how it feels. As a Tennessee football guy, losing to Vanderbilt and having Vanderbilt fans, all eight of them in my mentions, Bragging. Like, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I just took it. I did not use the, well, when I played, you didn't win that much, even though I did lose to Vanderbilt one year. I didn't use the, when was the last time you won a championship? Or when you come into the complex, look up in the rafters and drool. Like, hey, I didn't do that. I just took it. I took it. Because I didn't want to play that card. So my advice to David would be, take it. And just hope Coach Calipari has boys ready to play tomorrow and that you win, then you can really brag about beating Tennessee. And until then, shh, go to Dollywood, go have a good time, relax, go to the outlets, go, go, go play in the race cars. Get that cinnamon bread. Get, get, get Whatever. Go get some pralines and just shh, just wait on your team to win. Don't be talking about the past. It's just not a good look. It doesn't help you win the argument right now. In the last 20 matchups between Tennessee and Kentucky, the Vols are 11-9. and nine. Rick Barnes with a winning record in those 20 games against Kentucky head-to-head. Tennessee has won, has at least one win in eight of the nine of the last nine seasons that they've played last year Kentucky swept Tennessee yep. but in eight of the last nine seasons Tennessee has won at least one game against Kentucky UT's 11 wins over Kentucky since the 15-16 season are five more than any other team Auburn and Kansas each have six so when, against uh, ranked Wildcat teams Tennessee 10 and 5 in that stretch I also say, David, now Tennessee, Tennessee beats Kentucky tomorrow. I don't, I don't want to see you calling in to the uh, Kentucky Sports Radio Show on Calipari fired now. That that wouldn't be a good fan of you now. That that wouldn't be that wouldn't be loyalty. With Rick Barnes as the head coach, Tennessee is seven and two in AP top twenty-five matchups against Kentucky. Seven and two when they're both ranked. They're both ranked entering tomorrow's game. See, I think you was up to something. When you read that text, he's like, I got, I got a text for you, Swain. I didn't even see the text. I got a text for you, Swain. I knew what you was up to because you knew how I was going to respond. I didn't know. You, you, you know, like trash talking? Like, I'm, I'm a receiver at heart. This is what we do. We trash talk. You, knew, you, you set David up. You knew David was about to get the work. You knew he was about to get that smoke. I didn't know how you would respond. Yes, you did. You, you did know. <laughs> you did know. I knew. And I was very excited for it. And you delivered. We'll come back. We get you ready for Tennessee, Kentucky, and a big basketball weekend right here on Josh and Swain. Your odds to win 99.1, the sports animal's biggest prizes just got better. We now draw one member of our email club, The Jungle, as an instant finalist in contests with a grand prize value over $500. Club members get links to our latest blogs and videos, plus a layout of sports animal programming and the biggest sporting events of the weekend. To make sure you receive our weekly sports animal emails, visit our website at 991thesportsanimal.com and sign up for The Jungle Email Club.
If you want a great-looking fence or secure entry gate that will stand the test of time, you need to call Stanley Fencing and Gate. Proudly serving East Tennessee since 2000, Stanley Fencing can customize your fence. Just tell Stanley Fencing your idea, they bring it to life. Offering chain link, vinyl, aluminum, wood fences. They even specialize in secure entry gates to protect your business. For customized fencing and gates backed by a warranty, choose the Stanley Fence family. Call 865-254-3844 or online at stanleyfence.com. Every day is a good day to focus on your health. If you suffer from conditions like migraines, intestinal issues, body pain, or are always tired, call doctors Jason and Alicia Bloom at Marble City Chiropractic. From newborns to 100 years, they give individualized chiropractic care based on your needs. They teach the five essentials of health and healing, creating a new mindset that focuses on nutrition, exercise, and spinal correction. For your consultation, please call Marble City Chiropractic at 865-766-2081 or go to MarbleCityChiropractic.com. It's time to transform your old, outdated kitchen into the dream space you and your family want. Kitchen Sales can make those dreams a reality. Kitchen Sales carries the largest selection of fine kitchen and bathroom cabinetry that ranges from a more affordable line all the way up to a fully custom line. See the selection for yourself at one of their two amazing showrooms, Hoyt Avenue, just off Cherry Street, and in the Town & Country Circle near Best Buy. For more information, go to KitchenSales.com. Net. Kitchen sales, kitchen sales, cabinets and countertops. We are the place to shop. Come on down. Hey folks, it's Jake from Rusty Wallace Kia of Knoxville, and it's time for you to score some bracket-busting deals. You can buy a 2024 Kia Sportage for $3,000 below MSRP, or a 2024 Kia Sorento for $2,000 below MSRP, or a 2024 Kia Telluride for $1,000 below MSRP. These bracket-busting deals are only here through Saturday night, so hurry in before the buzzer sounds to Rusty Wallace Kia of Knoxville, I-75 at Callahan Drive. We're teaming up. Up with Marley's Tap Room and Pizzeria to give you a shot at the Million Dollar Madness Bracket Challenge. This year, we're stepping into the hysteria by giving you the chance to win $1 million. Jump into the buzzer beating action by registering your bracket. And if you make the perfect pick, that's a million dollar bracket. Get 60 picks, that's 10 grand. Plus, there's a $500 prize for the best bracket in East Tennessee. Register your bracket today at 991thesportsanimal.com. Presented by Barley's Tap Room and Pizzeria. Any bracket is just better with Barley's. Pay attention, sports bettors. Danny B here. Make sure to call our free pick hotline, 877-828-0120. Every day we release raw number winners free on recorded message, 877-828-0120. Also visit us at rawnumberwins.com and learn and earn like a pro sports better. Three daily raw number winners, 877-828-0120. Rawnumberwins.com. This is John, and I'm with Whitney, co-owner of Pipe Wrench Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, voted one of Knoxville's best HVAC companies seven years in a row. What have you got for us this spring, Whitney? We have an exciting limited time offer this spring. Now through the end of March, we are offering a free water heater with the purchase and installation of a new heating and cooling system from Pipe Wrench. If you don't need a new water heater yet, that's okay. We can credit the value of the water heater toward your purchase of a complete HVAC system. Our field supervisors can give you all the details and work with you to get the best deal. Updating your HVAC system and your water heater at the same time sounds great. What do people need to do, Whitney? All you need to do is call our office or visit our website to book online today. We offer free on-site estimates and free second opinions for HVAC replacements and water heater replacements too if a water heater is all you need. We offer financing options as well. Call Pipe Wrench 865-264-8090 or book online at pipewrench.com. When you want to get away from all the daily noise, escape to the Sports Animal Stream on our app, smart speaker, or online. Text STREAM to 656-9900 for a listing of ways you can stream us. The hottest sports stories of the day broken down to their very core with honest, informed opinions. Here's Josh and Swain on the Sports Animal.
We're back on Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us. We're on social media at Josh and Swain. You can follow on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We'll be with you until 3 o'clock. Big weekend for Tennessee basketball, getting ready for Kentucky. Big stretch coming up here. Some conference tournament action underway. Major conference tournament coming up over the next week. And then the big dance begins. Right now we say hello to Fat Jack from FatJackSports.com. Fat Jack, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing great, actually. You know, it's uh, we were talking off the air, but... To be a Vols fan right now, you're not missing football. So that's nice. I mean, the Vols very relevant, uh, looking for a number one seed, winning the SEC. Um, and I've been very, very busy as well. We're 8-0 this week. All the games are posted and documented under the results tab, but you'll see that it, you know, there's nothing better. This time of year, people get grumpy around the country. So if you're not winning, they act like they act like it. But when you're winning, I've won 11 of the last 12 days. Everything's post 13-2 and two, uh, over the last, since the 26th of the month, under the results tab, you go to basketball. So, I'm like I'm like a lot of Vols fans out there, very optimistic about not only this next week, but of course March Madness and beyond. So excited about that and uh, ready to for what you know is a sneaky, really big weekend this weekend before we get into these conference tournaments starting next week. How, how do you approach which team to maybe roll with, ride with? Um, college basketball is about the team that's playing the highest at the right time. Uh, are you someone that kind of looks at? <laughs> a team like Tennessee and, and look at the value there with, with Tennessee and, um, you know, roll with Tennessee. Well, there is, I mean, that sounds like a Vols fan. There is no value with Tennessee. I mean, they're, they're literally, they won the, the SEC, arguably one of the top two conferences for sure in the country, top to bottom. I mean, this is a conference with a ton of good basketball teams and they've won that con- So this is not a team with any value right now at all. Now, now what they, what they haven't accomplished over the course of their, of the, Entire history of their program, there's a little value there, but I don't, we're not getting that just yet. Um, you know, have they ever been a number one seed? Have they ever made a Final Four? Have they won an national? Those type things. We'll have an opportunity in the next couple of weeks, um, but it's it's real hard for me to take a team into uncharted waters like that all the way there, unless you just feel like you know this team is destined. So I would be real careful. I would do this. I would say you're not getting any value this next week in the uh, conference tournament. If they somehow didn't win the conference tournament, I would then take a flyer on them to at least make the final four because you really need something bad. It sounds contrarian to what the average fan will say, but you need something bad to happen to really good teams late to create any value going forward. I'd say the same thing about Purdue, uh, the same thing about Houston, although I think they're the most vulnerable at that top level. Um, But those type teams, you need them to slip in the conference tournament to create a little bit of value going forward. Otherwise, you're just betting with your heart if you're bet- if you're a Vols fan betting the Vols, which is not the worst thing in the world. I mean, ask the Chiefs fans how that's working out. Uh, you know, they, they bet them because they love the Chiefs. Chiefs win the cash ticket. So I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but for me, I'm looking for value. And you're, I don't think you're getting a lot of that right now with the Tennessee team that is very, very hot. Hmm. Fat Jack is with us, fatjacksports.com. Tennessee finishes the regular season where they're not necessarily playing for anything in in, at this point, other than maybe an, a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. But uh, early line, Tennessee's an eight-and-a-half-point favorite against a good Kentucky team. They have a big-time offense. Does that tell you anything going into the game, seeing the Vols be a pretty big favorite, eight-and-a-half points right now against Kentucky? Yeah, and Kentucky, a little more to play for. They're still trying to, to work their seeding up. This is the total opposite of what you get in the NBA. Uh, the NBA, teams don't care whether they're the two seed, the four seed. The seed. They don't care as long as they're not the play-in game. They don't care. In college basketball, these players do care. They need a number one. They need a number two. To your point about uh, Kentucky, they've gone over the total 72% of the time this year. This is a team not only scoring a bunch of points, but giving up a bunch of points. And I think that's probably where the value is this weekend. If you're looking to play that game, look for Kentucky to continue scoring points. As I said, they're going over seven out of every 10 times this year. Um, And I think that probably continues uh, this week. Uh, uh, Tennessee, I can't see them resting players, but I could see them, you know, just some minutes here and there. Uh, so I would have trouble laying the big number, even though, you know, I know it's a, you know, a pretty good sized number. And I, this, this last week, generally speaking, you want to look toward favorites, especially if it's like senior day and they're at home, those type things. But I would lean more toward the total in that one, especially what you're getting out of Kentucky, a, a team that I think's created a little value that you might be able to get some value with is a team like Alabama, another team scoring a ton of points, they, but they've lost two of their last three. Um, they're playing an Arkansas team that if Alabama wins, 
they you know they come uh, um, they get the double bye so they don't have to play for a couple of games into the tournament arkansas is going to play wednesday no matter what so from a from a and it's senior night in alabama i i can see that game getting out of control arkansas beat lsu midweek um i can see uh both of those teams kind of under or at least arkansas their resolve being let's gear up for the tournament um, similar to what I think Tennessee might have the mindset of, is we know what we are, we know who we are, and Alabama in that spot I think could win going away because of senior night and certainly because of the added incentive of getting the double buy in the SEC tournament starting this next week. So I think that's an easier spot uh, than, than trying to see if the Vols are going to win by double digits or not. Fat Jack, anything else on your radar, either individual teams, games coming up, or tournament action, what people should be paying yeah. attention to? Let me just give you a little bit of a flyer in the NBA. We don't talk a lot NBA because you're, you're like me, you're in college territory. I love college basketball. I love college sports. That's where my head and heart I've always been. But there is some value, I think, in the Western Conference of the NBA. The Oklahoma City Thunder are 7-1 to one to win the Western Conference. And this is solely based on the fact that the optics of having teams like Minnesota and Oklahoma City win that conference are not – that's not normal for the average fan. They need Denver or they need the Clippers, those type teams, to win. But the reality is now we're 60-plus games into the season in the NBA, and Minnesota's first, and Towns went down yesterday. We played uh, Minnesota last night. I got some emails. Hey, Towns goes down. We're still playing. Yeah, we're still playing them. If I, unless I send an update, we're still playing them. And by the way, easy winner. Or they won. They won easy, but they ended up got a little bit closer, but they won. Um, Oklahoma City, 7-1. to one. They're a half game back in the West. And Minnesota has a little bit of injury. So Oklahoma City doesn't know what they don't know. So it might take a flyer there at 7-1. to one. Uh, As far as college basketball goes, we'll talk about the tournament next week. I do think there's a, a chance that Purdue loses the Big Ten tournament. Um gearing up for the NCAA. I don't think they're going to fall short like they've done in the NCAA tournament. I think they make a deeper run, but I can see them overlooking the spot. Now, who's going to beat them? Hard to say, but I do think they're, they're a little bit more vulnerable in the conference tournament, as is Houston, than they will once they get to the big tournament. Um, so we're ready for a big week. 8-0 and this week. Guys, 8-0 and this week. Everybody's winning. We've won 11 of the last 12 days, building huge profit as we head into a great time of the year, which, by the way, you can make money before lunch. I mean, these tournaments start early, and uh, yesterday we had, a, uh, had an easy winner before lunchtime. So go to FatJackSports.com, 129 through Monday, 499 gets you everything through the NCAA tournament finals, or go longer, you're going to get baseball season for free, and that deal's getting ready to go away. So sign up long-term, it works out to about uh, 70 bucks a week or less when you sign up at least for the NBA finals. You get the baseball for free, Triple Crown for free, and all of the March Madness action that you can handle that's going to get you into profit well before we get to football season. So go to FatJackSports.com, sign up today, and win this weekend. Brunch and lunch winners, even before you get ready for dinner. That's a pretty good deal right there. So FatJackSports.com is the website to go check it, check it out, take advantage of the deal, FatJackSports.com. Dot com. Good luck this weekend, Fat Jack. We appreciate the time as always, and we'll talk to you again soon. All right, guys. Have a great week. See you soon. Good luck to the balls. You got it, Fat Jack, joining us on the Stanley Fencing and Gates Hotline. Yeah, early line, Tennessee, eight and a half point favorite against Kentucky. Yeah, you can tell my emotions are involved because when Fat Jack was talking about Kentucky hitting the over and, and just saying it so, so matter of fact, I was like, oh, Tennessee got top five defense. Fat Jack, what are you talking about? We're not going to just give up all these points. That's not what we do. But we did give up a lot of points against Kentucky the last time. Yeah, it went over pretty easily the last time. Tennessee yeah, Now, Tennessee played a big part in that, scoring 103. It was 103 to 92. No points. The last time these two teams played. Kentucky yeah. games. I mean, he said 72% of the time going over. Uh, against Vanderbilt, 93 to 76. Arkansas last week, and that one was wild. 111 to 102. 91 to 89 the game before that 117 to 95 the game before that they have 109 to 77 mentioned the Tennessee score 94 91 against Florida 105 96 against Georgia you get the point yeah a lot of points we'll cool. come back here on Josh and Swain add a boys add a girls to hand out very cool note with a VFL former Tennessee football player in the NFL we're with you for another 30 minutes right here on Josh and Swain when special guests call in to 99.1, the sports animal, you hear them on the Stanley Fencing and Gates Hotline, stanleyfence.com. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the sports animal. 
The Lady Vols defeated Kentucky in the SEC tournament yesterday thanks to Sarah Puckett's career-high 22 points to help the Lady Vols defeat the Wildcats 76-62. Tennessee faces the number four seed Alabama in the SEC tournament quarterfinals today. Tip-off is set for 2.30. Catch the game right here on The Sports Animal. Tennessee softball has won six in a row. The Lady Vols take on Missouri State this afternoon at Sherry Parker Lee Stadium. First pitch is set for 3 o'clock. Tennessee baseball puts its 12-game win streak up against Illinois tonight at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. First pitch is at 6 o'clock. The Knoxville Ice Bears are back in action at home this weekend with games on Friday and Saturday against the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs. Tonight's game at the Civic Coliseum is set for 735. And fourth-ranked Tennessee Hoops goes up against 15th-ranked Kentucky at Food City Center at Thompson Bowling Arena to close out the regular season. The Vols have already clinched the outright regular season title in the SEC. Tip-off tomorrow is at 4 o'clock. Catch the game right here on The Sports Animal. I'm Joel Silverberg. Hey, it's Josh. I want to tell you about Ted Russell Ford and Ted Russell Lincoln. Locally owned and operated. If you want to go check out the many different options, they can help you save right now on whatever kind of vehicle you are looking for. And they can help you find whatever kind of vehicle you are looking for thanks to their many options when it comes to the truck lineup, their SUVs. The Ford Explorer and the Ford Expedition offer you great options with what you need in an SUV. There's also the Edge if you have been interested in the Ford Bronco. The March Mania sales event right now gives you savings and low interest rates to take advantage of. Two locations, Parkside Drive and Kingston Pike. I personally have purchased several vehicles. I've done a trade-in each time working with Ted Russell Ford for them to help us find what we needed for me and for my family. They helped us with what we needed. They can do the same for you. With the Ford lineup, the Lincoln lineup with the brand-new Lincoln Vitrine from Ted Russell Lincoln, plus their great pre-owned selection. You can shop online at tedrussellford.net. You can go by Kingston Pike or Parkside Drive for Ted Russell Ford and Ted Russell Lincoln. This has been a paid announcement. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting and rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Attention homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? Fog between the glass. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's time to replace. And right now you can get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson. Plus with our March 31-day sales event, you can save $377 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Just text HOT to 200-300 for your free consultation on top quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no monthly payments, and no interest for a year. That's right, you don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text HOT to 200-300 to save $377 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Hurry, this incredible 31-day sales offer is only in March. Text HOT to 200-300. Text the word HOT to 200-300. HOT to 200 300. Vol Baseball is back on 99.1, the sports animal. And Ted Russell Ford want to give you a chance to win a porch for you and your crew to watch a Vols game this season. Check out 99.1, the sports and get signed up. And you could be cheering on the Vols from the outfield while enjoying this unique fan experience with you and your friends. So batter up, good luck, and go Vols. From Ted Russell Ford in 99.1, the sports animal. At Layman Jewelers, we're here to your presentation. What you say matters. Your delivery matters. The quality matters. Your image matters. So trust Image Matters, Knoxville's most respected office technology dealer to create the image you want. Image Matters is locally owned and operated, offering total document output solutions to fit both your needs and budget. From multifunction printers to production printing, backed by customer service that's second to none. To learn how Image Matters can help you, visit imagematters.inc.com or call 865 212 Technology you need, people you trust. This report is sponsored by Tire Rack. Nearly 3,000 teen drivers die in car crashes each year. Tire Rack Street Survival is designed to save lives. The one-day, hands-on driving school gives teens experience in car control through exercises that include emergency braking and skid recovery. Find a class near you at TireRack.com slash survive. We're in the mid-60s this afternoon with more clouds and showers. Showers are really on and off throughout the day. More moves in overnight. Some rumbles of thunder as a line of rain and a few storms push in with that cold front on Saturday. Highs in the mid-60s but dropping throughout the afternoon to evening hours. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Paige Noel.
Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. East Tennessee, born and raised. If you're facing legal troubles, make the call to East Tennessee's local law firm, Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group. Call 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. Josh and Swain on 99.1 The Sports Animal. Once again, voted one of the top 25 sports midday shows in America by Barrett Sports Media. This is Josh and Swain. Thanks for being with us. We'll hand out Atta Girls and an Atta Boy coming up in just a moment. We're with you until 3 o'clock. Jason Swain is here, VFL, former Tennessee wide receiver. I'm Josh Ward. Uh, we have Evan with a question in the uh, YouTube chat I want to get to as well. kind of goes to a conversation really from the last few days, but earlier in the show as well. Tennessee right now would project as the number one seed in the West region, which means in the Sweet 16 and Elite 8, Tennessee would play in Los Angeles. And then the Final Four is in Phoenix. So we were talking about Tennessee could be the West Coast Vols, kind of joking there if they end up in that region. But Evan asked, how do teams from the East end up in a Western bracket anyway? Uh, well, you have four regions, so teams have to go somewhere. And it's actually you have a seeding one through 68. So in, we'll just use this case. So if Tennessee's the fourth one seed, you have Purdue, UConn, and Houston that would all be ahead of Tennessee. They would have the more favorable placement when it comes to the region, and they would go to the West. If Tennessee were seeded higher, like if Tennessee ends up as one of the top two seeds, they would play in what, the East or the South, I would imagine. But if Tennessee is a one seed and the fourth team, because they rank teams one through 68, then Tennessee would be placed in the west region but we only have so many teams from the west that are playing in college basketball so there's a seating process and then a placement process from there is that about right yeah i think you nailed it i think you nailed it so that's why playing away from home is so important being able to you know withstand um away crowds Mm -hmm. and momentum that goes against you tennessee was able to kind of weathered that storm against Alabama. Uh, did it versus South Carolina when they made their surge. But uh, you play in some neutral site games early in the season against good teams to kind of get that experience. And when you have an experienced team and then you get that experience in season, um, situations like this can, can you know, you can be prepared for. And Tennessee, if they were to go to the West, they're a team that says, hey, man, the, the baskets, same basket they got to shoot in. Uh the same length and distance is basketball at the end of the day. Uh, we can't get caught up in external factors. We got to trust the scout report and just do our jobs and go execute. Yeah, Tennessee is as well-traveled of a team as there is in the country, from Maui to East Lansing to Madison to Chapel Hill, San Antonio to play NC State, and they went to Italy back in the summer. As a team. They did. Not to mention, of course, going on the road to some tough venues like Rupp and down to Coleman last weekend to take on Kentucky and take on Alabama plus everywhere else. Yeah, if you can, if you can play in those venues and those environments, especially in Kentucky uh, where, you know, you, you got to try to wipe the drool while, while playing. Uh, if you look up and look at all the banners, um, you know, makes it makes it real difficult. So after a lot of history, after wiping up all the drool, um, you know, with a towel, our guys were able to go out there and focus and, and get that win in the hostile environment. So that was that was a big win. And playing in Alabama, that's a tough environment. So if you can play in those venues and and win, and we saw how South Carolina fans, you know, they they do a really good job, man, showing up. Um, the football environment. Is one of the best in college football, and you know their basketball environment. This past Wednesday was pretty good too. 
I mean, it was really good. Yeah, the the fans made that a bigger game. Both yeah. teams were playing for something, but the fans and the environment yeah. on Wednesday night made that sure did. a bigger game here in the final week of the regular season. So, uh, Evan, appreciate the, the question. Appreciate you tuning in, as always, on the Sports Animal YouTube channel. And right now we hand out Atta Girls. We'll have a, an Atta Boy to hand out as well. We do that every day. Thanks to Native Design, which has now opened the Native Nursery. Go check out nativetn.com. And, Swain, we begin the segment today handing out Atta Girls as it is International Women's Day. Oh, yeah, man. I think about all the females out here um, that are striving, um, that are um, producing results in different areas, doesn't matter if it's sports or business. I mean, I think about Donnie Plowman and the impact that she has made on on this community, Knoxville, being a chancellor and, and being in a position of, of leadership and, and how she's done a great job. And um, when you go and you look at Women's Day, their, their tweet um, talks about you know, building young girls' confidence and leadership skills. And um, there's a commercial that used to play during sporting events, talk about talking about you know young girls you know, quitting um, sports at a young age, and and, and how um, we should try to help with girls uh, their confidence and letting them know that they can they can do it and not quitting and they can be great. And so I just think about what Caitlin Clark has has done to the women's game, and what she's done to just sports in general, um, selling out those basketball games there at Iowa, having superstars come to her game to watch her break, you know, a record. Like, women's basketball is, is, is awesome. And so, um, man, we, we think about this day and all the impactful women in sports and business, all walks of life. Yeah, I think in uh, 10, 15 years, we're going to be talking about athletes that are making names for themselves at that time. So girls that are, you know, however young now, where we will look back at Caitlin Clark, Sabrina, Juju, yeah. Angel Reese, the impact that they will have made when young girls are watching them now get older, develop, and become athletes themselves on a national stage. Oh, yeah. I mean, and Angel Reese, like, she's, she is unapologetically her. And, you know, I appreciate about that. I appreciate uh, that about her. And, uh, man, she's a baller, SEC Player of the Year. And she's done a great job just marketing herself. And, you know, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but she's a winner. And she's a really, really good player. And you named all the the, the players there that over the last couple of years, man, they've really just turned the attention on women's basketball. Where you have some folks to try to down the, down the sport and try to you know, throw shade, they continue to prove that women's game is here to stay and people are watching and the numbers prove it too. Yep. So uh, collective Atta Girls we hand out today thanks to Native Design. And also wanted to mention this. Uh, this guy's. I think he's about to enter the Atta Boy Hall of Fame. Man. Jalen Reeves Maben, who we just highlighted in the last few weeks for the new contract that he got, highest paid core special teams player in the NFL. Today he was elected president by the Board of Player Representatives in the NFL. He is the new NFL PA president, VFL former Tennessee linebacker Jalen Reeves Maven. <laughs> Man. JRM is just a winner. He's a winner. Mm -hmm. He's just a winner in life. You know people that they just whatever they touch, they just have a positive impact. And that's Jalen Reeves Maven, man. Successful here at Tennessee, was a captain here at Tennessee. Was a tweener coming in, didn't know what position he's going to play. Didn't matter. He's going to figure it out and be good at it. And that's what he did. And then at the next level, there's some talk about, oh, I don't know, man. Too small to play linebacker, maybe not fast enough. Figured it out. Starter. Um, most valuable special teams player in the league. Paid like it. And now representing the players throughout the entire league. And that's two former Tennessee athletes that are in leadership roles with. Uh, the Player Association, Grant Williams in the NBA, and now Jalen Reeves-Maben, NFL. So an attaboy to Jalen Reeves-Maben as well. We hand out attaboys and attagirls every day thanks to Native Design with the new Native Nursery available for contractors and landscapers. It's your one-stop shop 
for plants, trees, and landscaping materials, including boulders, flagstone, mulch, and more. Go to nativetn.com. You can call 865-310-3256. Again, 865-310-3256 for Native Design and Hardscape, Knoxville's premier landscaping and hardscape designer. We'll come back with the Power Pole. We'll get you ready for the weekend. One more segment to go right here on Josh and Swain. Yep, that's the relaxing sound of being a landlord. Well, assuming that Heritage Realty is your property manager, thanks to Heritage Realty, the only work you have to do is get up and walk to the mailbox and get a rent check. No more phone calls in the middle of the night. Heritage Realty takes care of those, and they inspect your properties throughout the year to stay prepared. HeritageRealtyKnox.com. Maintenance, inspections, and financial experts at your service. HeritageRealtyKnox.com. Hey, it's Josh. I want to tell you about Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. It has been uh, Member Appreciation Week at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. They've been doing different things to show appreciation to members this week. We appreciate the membership that we have. We have a family membership, which uh, allows us so many different options. One, we have access to complimentary child care. comes with our membership. Our kids have a great time when they go to Kid City. We have access to a swimming pool 12 months out of the year, thanks to our membership. That includes the indoor pool that's open all year round, and then it'll be opening in just a few weeks, the outdoor pool for the spring and summer months. I love the gym, all the uh, space and equipment that I need for a workout. If you need that extra push, if you need a little help, they have more than 85 group fitness classes that take place every week at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. Personal training's available and so much more. Stop by Start with a free three-day trial. You can try it out for yourself, and when you sign up, it's month-to-month. No long-term contracts. Kingston Pike right off Pellissippi Parkway. Tell them the sports animal sent you to Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. This has been a big announcement. Hey, folks, Gerald Evans with Ted Russell Nissan. Is your old car on its last leg? Gerald, cars don't have legs. Oh, is your old car ready to bite the dust? Gerald, cars don't bite dust. Well, is your old car ready to lay down? Gerald, cars don't lay down. Well, I do know if your old car is bent, broke, scratched, dented, peeling, squealing, smoking, stinking, shaking, pinging, poking, rocking, knocking, rattling, slipping, dripping, sagging, dragging, or wobbling. Well, it don't matter. A Ted Russell Nissan, if it'll drive, it's worth 50 $8,500. That's toward the purchase of any new in stock Nissan Rogue. And that's for the entire month of March. So before it's too late, bring that sled to Ted. Gerald, technically sleds and cars are two different things. Man, I can't get it right. Well, at least I know Ted Russell Nissan is on Kingston Pike. Gerald, technically Ted Russell Nissan is not on Kingston Pike. If it was, then cars would be driving through your dealership. Well, I guess you're right. Technically, we're on the corner of Bridgewater and Kingston Pike. Tennessee Bridge Pay tax five ninety five fee and all rebates including must finance with MAC financing. Stock number all twelve forty eight ninety two. Ted Russell Nissan. We got it going on. This is John, and I'm with Whitney, co-owner of Pipe Wrench Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, voted Knoxville's best plumber seven years in a row. I hear you've got a drain cleaning special, Whitney. We do, John. As long as our equipment can access the drain, we'll clear any clogged drain in your home for just $99. As a bonus, we'll run a video camera through your sewer line to examine the condition of your main drain line. If we see a blockage or break in the line, we can devise a plan to fix it. Is there a charge for the video camera inspection? No, it's free. And if we do find an issue with your main sewer line, we can give you options to resolve it. Options include cabling the line, hydrojetting it, performing a spot repair, or total sewer line replacement, depending on the issue. Armed with knowledge, you can make a decision as to how to proceed. Sounds like you're the drain and sewer line experts, Whitney. Call Pipe Wrench, 865-264-8090 or book online at pipewrench.com. Leonard Skinner. ZZ Top. Two American institutions unite. The Sharp Dressed Simple Man Tour. Uh-huh. Friday, March 15th, Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center with Blackstone Cherry. On sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Skinner and CZ Top Live. Four out of five sports fans listen to Tennessee football talk on the sports animal street. The fifth is an Alabama fan, and he can't listen to anything since the batteries died at his transistor radio in 1981. From the Budweiser Studios of the Sports Animal, we are 99.1, the Sports Animal.
Back on Josh and Swain. Excuse me, back on John and Swan. <laughs> so today it's I called, same ring. called the show Josh and Wayne. I called you Wayne earlier. Struggled with that one. Thanks. Uh, texture called you Swan. Probably just forgot the I, but nevertheless, that's I how think, it came I, in. I think he was doing it on purpose. Uh, last week you tried to get me fired. Uh, just replaced, not necessarily fired. Maybe reallocated <laughs> within the company. So uh, we were su- suggested in the text box, what about John and Swan? I like Josh and Swain. I think, that, I think, I think it's stick good, with, too. Stick with that for a little bit. Yep, at Josh and Swain. Give us a follow. Anthony did ask, what time does the Josh and Wayne show start? <laughs> same time, same place. Yep. 12 a.m. Right here on the station. <laughs> uh, you can podcast anytime, anywhere you want. Uh yeah, John and Swan, though, it does work. Uh, watch out. Uh, Corey says, watch out for the dust on those crusty banners, Swain. Yes. After Dave's text from uh, Pigeon Forge, talking a little trash, saying uh, you'll be drooling at those Kentucky banners next time you're up at Rupp. Aaron said drool over the scoreboard. Yeah. Good, good response by Aaron. When you win, all you have to do is say scoreboard. And nothing else can be said. The like those South, those South Carolina fans, uh-huh. what's wrong with them? If you didn't have Don Connect, you would be a 500 team. Uh, this team went to the Sweet 16 last year. Right. And every team, if they didn't have their best player, would be different. Yeah, those are the arguments I don't typically understand. Is, well, if you didn't have insert blank, well, we got it. Yeah, we got it. And you don't, and you couldn't stop them. Or her, so hush, 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 hush. I mean, they they have not been able to handle that L well at all from from Wednesday. You you do realize, Gamecock fans, you didn't lead at any point of the game. So blaming yeah. the officials, I think it's a little bit of a cop out. Um, yeah, if, you know, I've always thought this: if if Steph Curry weren't as good of a three point shooter, he wouldn't be nearly as good of an NBA player. Oh, uh, duh. watch out now. Watch out. Hot take of the day. You know, I've got him. Keep, you know, I've got you, you keep a bag of them. Mm-hmm. L- locked and loaded, huh? All right. Uh, weekend it, is upon us, Wayne. It's here. All right. Well, I got some, I got some things to watch. All right. Power yeah. poll. What to watch this upcoming weekend. Big sports, big basketball weekend coming up. Would you like to lead us off with your list? Yeah, I was... Debating the fifth spot, but I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with the NBA game in the fifth spot. Okay. The Bucks and the Lakers at the Lakers. Uh, both teams trying to get into playoff form. The Lakers fighting for a good seed. Uh, I'm gonna go there with, with number five. Number four is all of the mid-major conference tournament games. We're gonna see. Some high-level stuff in those finals, and teams are able to punch their ticket, go to the NCAA, go to the NCAA tournament, and get smashed by a second or first seed. But still, like still going, go. going is a big deal, and uh, seeing the reactions always um, it's fun to watch. Number three, I'm going with the Lady Vols. They play in Bama right now, but the Lady Vols they win. Watch them again tomorrow. Number two, Duke, North Carolina. Best rivalry in college basketball. Don't think it's going to be the best game because the best game is going to be Tennessee, Kentucky. Tomorrow, 4 p.m. You know, that is a, a funny part about some of the trash talk that took place. Dave's text, which we had some fun with. We appreciate Dave uh, listening and texting into the show. Is that uh, we, we think this is going to be a close one tomorrow. We think it's going to be a hard-fought game between Tennessee and Kentucky. Yeah. yeah. Just, be, just because I think Kentucky is, is good. Mm-hmm. Real good. And uh, when Dillingham was fun to watch. And Reed Shepherds, he he is he's special too. I like his game. Remember when his dad You're familiar played. familiar with it. Yeah, I remember when his dad played. So, listen, man, I used to watch Kentucky a lot. It's a good list. Uh, my number five, uh, I have the CONCACAF Gold Cup Final, the U.S. Women's National Team against Brazil. That's Sunday 
It's Paramount Plus. Sunday night, U.S. Women's National Team number four. I went NBA Celtics Suns. Celtics had a shot late against the Nuggets, didn't get it done. Uh, should be a good game coming up this weekend. I have Duke UNC number three. I have Tennessee Kentucky number two. I got love for the mid majors. I'll, I'll put the mid major tournaments number one. All right. All the right. A Sun Championship on Sunday, Swain. I've been talking about the A Sun this week. Stetson against Austin P. That A Sun tournament's turned into a wild one. A Sun, good show today. I like how you finished that up. Had a good, had a good, good time this week. Joel, thank you. We've had a great time. We'll have more to talk about on Monday when we come back. Thank you for hanging out with us. We'll see you Monday at noon on Josh and Swain. Makes a little sports analysis, pop culture, and great interviews, and you've got the Rich Eisen Show podcast.